Nice. <laughs> you said it. I, I did you said it, it, little buddy. I didn't. I didn't need say it. All right, let's do it again. Chat, you can do it with this for the intro thing that we always do. Are you guys ready for another exciting episode of Rug Rind? I want to have to mute you. I'm gonna have to mute you now for the podcast. <laughs> it's so <laughs> destroying of eardrums. Normally, more than we normally do. You're welcome. I try to do it all the time. I hate yeah. it. Hey. We, hi everybody, welcome to Rock Rider at episode eleven. We finally made it. They let us with do this eleven like, times. Yeah, with only like two uh -oh's and they will regret so far. It. Yeah. I hope everyone's been having a fantastic time. I want to go ahead and quickly get over to the amazing people that bring you Rock Rain, starting off with Odoroshi. Hi, hello, I'm Odoroshi. Uh, I'm playing Vali, the Sylph Swashbuckler, and I want you to imagine with me a really funny bit and pretend that I just said that. Anyway, next. Hilarious. Next up, we have Hokey Crow. Hey, that's me. I'm Hokey Crow. I'm playing the Kanrasu Cleric Rahua, and I'm just a dirty little boy. To... A what? what? Good. Next up, Aaron Dill. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll follow that up. Yeah, I'm Erndil. I, I write for Alpha Busa at Ogre Popanang Productions. If anyone complains about the name of the company, I will shove them. And we, we write stuff, and we write for show, and we write for life. And I made a, I made a book about food in Rotgrind. Read it. Yeah, on Patreon, uh, the Larders of Outside got released on it. So if you're a patron member, then uh, you can go ahead and read all the fantastic foods that'll kill you, including egg. Egg. There is egg the in there. Bonus. Next egg up, we have bonus. Speaker D. Hey, everybody, I'm Speaker D. I'm playing Tannhauser, the Magus android. And I'm also a lead writer for Hunter the Parenting and Ogre, up, Ogre, Popa, Ogre, Popa, Manang. Ogre, I, Erndil, what? Can we please, can you change the name? I mean, I really don't like it. Erndil, how do you, Erndil, how do you pronounce, how do you Ogre, Popa, how, Erndil, Erndil? The answer is... Buva Alpha Busa. Oh yes, yes. I do work with Buva Alpha Busa on Ogre Pop and Nang. Yes. Yeah. And, and our game master for the evening, who will corrupt all of us eventually in time, is Thurston Hillman. Yub nub. That's all. And oh, dude, I fucking love corruption of champions. And I Shut am your host, <laughs> host Zora the Bear. <laughs> and I am playing the Strix Druid named Orin. And we're all level four, by the way. I don't think we didn't really do a good job last episode. Last time, oh, yeah. We leveled. We leveled, but we were just kind of went straight into the game because we wanted to play. So <laughs> we, uh, just as a reminder, we're level four. And speaking of reminders, uh, the complication system and just kind of re explain uh, stuff on the stream and how this works. So, you know, the bars under our names and stuff. The numbers are not our levels, they are the amount of hero points we have. Hero points allow us to reroll d20s or declare a narrative declaration. I, with the, uh, with the group that we are called, narrative declaration. Um, and with that, as people give bits on Twitch and stuff like that, uh, not direct donations, only just bits on Twitch. Um, <laughs> It fills up the bar if they uh, if they direct it towards the player and stuff. And with that, allows us to basically re-roll to survive. But every little bit of that donation goes directly to Thurston, who's currently capped out on villain points, which he gets to yes. use to re-roll stuff for monsters and, and mess us all up. So that's going to be really fun. And if we ever roll a natural one, we can't, e we can't even, you know, hero point it away. If we roll a natural one, we complicate. And uh, our patrons are able to... If they're in the right tier, or submit their complications to us. We put them in a big old pool, and we basically just pick through them to see uh, how badly we complicate. So it could lead to very hilarious results. We all get messed up through it. It's going to be a grand time. Uh, that's just to remind you all 
You good there, Speaker? You good eating your uh, mic? Uh, you sorry, I, I, I just fell down a flight of stairs into a garbage compactor. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that one. Yeah, it's all right. It is in vogue, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, and in addition to that, for those of you who might be interested in our previous show that we did called Warhams, we're doing a Warham special soon. Uh, next month, uh, this is current time, just kind of stay tuned to Discord and everything you've ever gets changed. I think we did it on... I think it's the tenth that we did it, tenth, seventeenth, somewhere around there. We have it in the Patreon. Um, post. I think it was tenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, tenth. It's the tenth. We're doing we're doing a Patreon only and sub only uh, Warham special and stuff like that. So if you've been a supporter of the channel and stuff, really just kind of keeping us afloat and stuff. So uh, we'd like to you know give a little thank you to that, along with a ton of free content that's coming out as well. Uh, a ton of free PDFs about rock grind and stuff like that will going out for free. So you will also be seeing that very very soon you know, we can't watch i mean you're currently a sub like if you're a sub on the twitch channel or you're part of the patreon uh you should be able to watch us because we're going to try to stream it uh for subs only here on twitch and then release it as a patreon exclusive thing on patreon uh but with that that's just reminders of everything how the stuff that we do i hope you all enjoy the show as thurston how are you going to mess us up today <laughs> well last time our destined band of Chuckle Fox regrouped following their horrific encounter with the chainsaw car in the streets of Outset. Tannhauser, Rahua, and Dehakis constructed a vehicle in order to reconnect with the lost Orin and Vali, who had awoken in the buried city temple the group had previously found itself in. Eventually, the entirety of the group reconvened at scenic Baldric's house, where they learned that the death and return of Vali and Orin meant the group had become sponsored by a deific force. To Hawkus, the gargoyle scholar that our uh, players had rescued previously, uh, explained that sponsorship is a tool of deities to influence time, though the appearance of the rot has somewhat complicated matters, with revived individuals slowly becoming afflicted by the rot, and that there are ways to combat this, but they are extremely esoteric and, and not 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 well known, and that is what Duhakis is researching. However, as this happened, Orin after the stresses of dying and coming back, uh, took 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 a, a nap, a little nappy, uh, but then had terrifying nightmares. Well, uh, Rahua banished Glubtok to the Shadow Realm, or uh, cast a spell to protect Glubtok. Uh, Cousin Ginnabrun arrived briefly to announce that the gala of uh, Martinet Cardoza of the Tyrant's Guild was, was happening at, uh, at the Martinet's Fortress, Derek Sandrin House. However, the attendees have not left since, and most of the Tyrant's Guild guards appear to have left the um, the Derg and are out and about as part of the hunt and the wrap-up duties of that, leaving the, the gala somewhat undefended. Following that, we had a bit of a planning session, and now we're going to, to jump right back into things, um, starting as our campaign is often wont to do at Scenic Baldrick's house. Uh, so you are all discussing options. I'm going to continue to allow you all to discuss options and how you want to approach this. Uh, we, we jump back to exactly where we were at the end of last session. All of you in Baldrick's house. Take it away. I'm, just, I'm imagining that, that song has been meaning, like Baldrick's house. And the metal of the street. No, you get that just fuck off. I hear that metal. song too much. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Yeah, I'm just I'm just taking all of uh, Baldrick's things off the walls. Um, putting up a portrait of yourself in his. House. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a real. <laughs> I, I proceed to I proceed to hang Volley on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just duct taped everywhere. I, I put her on. I put her on one of those like fishing trophy plaques and be like fish captain oh, no. oh help i've been i've been turned into one of those singing bass <laughs> you're you're billy bass <laughs> no <laughs> bass, no punches you in the stomach to make you sing don't worry be happy <laughs> <laughs> all right God. so what's our plan of action have we settled well, again the main problem is that i had a plan until you know there were more people so what what exactly do you guys see yourselves doing Arn, you could fly. You could probably go in from above. Mm -hmm. Arn kind of ponders a bit and goes like, well, I think one thing we could try to do is try to scout out the situation. So, uh, Mr. Tannhauser, 
Yes. Do you have binoculars in your eyes? No, no these are my eyes. Oh. Do you have binoculars in your eyes? Yeah. I squint and I could see just a little bit better. That's, oh, he that's... does have binoculars in his eyes then. Oh. God, yeah, that's really cool! Anyway, but the... I believe... Go ahead, go I'm sorry. No, I believe that your suggestion to scout ahead is practical. I suggest a three-pronged assault might be tenable. Ali and I are by far the most charismatic and undoubtedly could pass as two of these contemptible tyrant guilders. Meanwhile, Ruhua and Baldric can enter through your preordained sewer route. Before we do any of that, we have Orin enter in through the roof. Supply him with a disguise as well. He'll be able to give us a heads up if he sees anything out of the ordinary that might jeopardize our approach. And then we move in. Sounds like a plan. We should probably give the place a look over first. Because, I mean, sneaking in disguised as any of the contemptible tyrants guild members isn't going to do us much good if we walk inside and there's, like, you know, blood sacrifice or whatever you crazy kids do in outset. Perhaps it'd be worth it to try and find a member of the Tyrant's Guild who you two can bushwhack and then take his equipment. Exactly. They have their equipment, and I procure the masks that I obtained last time. Well, the Baldur guards aren't there right now, Yes, right? with your narrative declaration. Mm -hmm. oh. Baldric, Baldric holds up a finger and points out, yeah, the masks aren't the only thing. This isn't a... This isn't like a romance novel where no one notices who you are just because you've got a mask on. You need the clothes to fit it, too. I, I motion to volley at that point. Do you think this what? looks like a Tyrant's Guild member? I strike a pose. That's your response to a question? <laughs> just, 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 Would you like a backflip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can I, can I get panache? No. <laughs> when Valley gets nervous, she backflips. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't we note last session that we had enough stuff to like accurately disguise ourselves as the tyrant skill, though? Yeah, I, I like it was it was a it was a vague thing, but there's like armor. Like I, I will have assumed you can, you know, have acquired that and you know looted bodies and such. How you confuse me? Because we revisited because the Because you area. spent a narrative declaration, which I assume means that Tannhauser picked over all of the, the bodies in the street when Tannhauser came back. It's not like there weren't a lot of them. And also, yeah. there, the hunt is happening everywhere, so you can just, like, start collecting. Exactly. I was to say, you could just have us kill two of them. That's fine by me, too. I'm not as underprepared as you might imagine. We have ample garments for all of us. All right, so why don't we go over a little bit of decorum for being a member of the Tyrant's Guild, shall we? Let's. Okay. Will you be needing my assistance, Crunch? Kind of like steps up. Uh, I, I'm. I, I. I could certainly lend my my hammer to your cause, friends. Uh. Actually, yeah, Baltric is thinking about that. Actually, yeah. I should go down the ford. Uh, oh. I would ask, are an you astute opposed? and fine idea. Are you opposed to sewers? <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, I'm s certainly the, the water is a, is a difficult thing. You, you see, I'm a, a rather armored figure. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm not asking you to swim. I'm asking if you are okay with being in one. People can have weak constitutions when it comes to excrement. No, oh, not crunch of legibet. No, 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 no. I am a fine, upstanding citizen of the of of, of, of my, my my nation, and and yes, yes I can I can do endure the anything I you you deem necessary. Good, yes, fantastic. So, with that in mind, I know that I'm probably high on their list of people to whack. Rahu is a bit too obvious to sneak in. But you too, if you can figure out your own way in, that could help. Or come from above and find his own way in, and we could try to figure something out from below. Right. We do have that hat of disguise if we want a third person to sneak in. But 
Maybe that's what we give to Oren to hide the wings. That would be my suggestion. That way he can slip in from the roof. Again, you could probably blend into whatever's happening in there if you just act natural. Or Oren we give it to Rahua only because I'm curious what he would think he looks like as a person. Oren raises his hand. Like he's yeah. Ass. Oh, pick me. What? While you guys plan all this, uh, should I go ahead and go find a good scouting spot to kind of see the layout of the place? Because you said before they didn't really have a good layout out, layout of the uh, entire area. I can go get like a writing thing and some paper and try to get a you know vague like, vague layout of the place and make any notes of anything that I spot. That could be something we do. I'd like to go over the etiquette first so we don't have to do it again. Oh, okay. And we should be close at hand in case something happens. All right. <clears throat> uh, Thurston. Yes. Given my uh, extensive knowledge of outset law, yes. would you say I would be relatively familiar with how the Tyrant's Guild conducts itself and how etiquette works with them? I would say you would have a, a fairly good understanding with the with the asterisks that you know different um, different martinets run different operations for sure. Given this is this the is one your, across this the is field. your area. So. Yeah, about to yeah. say no, like, no, no. That's okay. So sure. what would you like me to roll to instruct? Um, well, uh, you, you cited outset law. That's a great option. Um, I mean, it's basic. It's going to be the same as a lot of your other checks. So yeah, let's go with that. Outset law. Uh, no penalties, no benefits. No penalties, no benefits in this case. Here we go. First roll of the game. We get into one. What's it gonna be? It's okay. a nat twenty with a thirty. Oh, I know. I know. My, I know the Tyrants Guild. I you teach them everything the there is to know. I taught the Tyrants Guild. I was the t no. You weren't. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. 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 You absolutely know the 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 style um, and like hierarchical uh, setup of the Tyrants Guild. Uh, yeah. So you can certainly provide a lot of information. Uh, most of which, you know, we we actually have a cool PDF on this. Uh, wow. but yeah. You can you can pass some of that uh, on to your to your fellows here. I, I would ask that that be conferred as a bonus to whatever, like, charisma-based checks they need to make when confronted, if confronted. Absolutely. This will, I think, uh, will confer them a plus two circumstance bonus. Yay. That, that's more than nothing. I didn't even have to roll for that. Well, you did. You got a 20. I didn't have to re-roll for that. That's fair. <laughs> Apple. All right, and so that should about cover it. So once again, starting from the top, if you are confronted by members of the Tyrants Guild asking for your serial number, what do you give them? Uh, Baldrick raises his hand. hand. Baldrick <laughs> raises his hand with a middle finger extended. Because <laughs> uh. remember... That's how they root people out. They think people need a serial number when they're operating on the streets. When they ask for it, you flip them off. Got it. And do. Seems sensible enough. Now that we are opposed to bleed the machine, it is time that we discover what exactly our aims are. My uh, expectation would be that Vali... Myself, and to an extent, Orin, would quickly locate the leader of the local garrison and assassinate her. I assume that, that is the plan. Lead that good. Now, with you two entering in through the sewers without disguises, you must inform us of how you intend to get to her without triggering the alarms. Huh? I wasn't quite sure how that would work if we are entering the sewers, dependent on where we emerge into the main gala floor. I thought we were kind of... Oh, no, I don't know, just... Rahua kind of motions his fingers in a walking motion, like, oh, just kind of bust through and he thrusts his fist forward. So Like that. I, think we, I thought we were just going to kill her. Rahua, the reason we are going in through the sewers is because they will not have nobility in that area. If we encounter guards, we can take care of them. However, 
nobility will stay far and away from it, and those would be ideally the people we'd have qualms about removing, since we're doing this carefully now and not just destroying the building. I see. Well, I am not the stealthiest among us, as you can tell that my frame is quite a deal bigger than yours, or Oren being the smallest, and also the fact that I am basically a living tree. Precisely. That's why I'm you and I... Are on the stealth team. <laughs> that is, I like how you assume that the sewer team is the stealth theme, team. No, the sewer That's team fair. is That's not fair. the stealth team. <laughs> we're, we're going in the sewer specifically because we would not be stealthy. They know who I am. They they probably guess that Rahua isn't supposed to be in the party. Crotch sticks out like a sore thumb. The only reason I suggested Tannhauser initially was because I was afraid he'd bark about the revolution too much. <laughs> he does that way, talk about that way only the lot. sewer workers can hear him and be empowered. That is true. We will unionize the sewer workers. Add that to the notes. <laughs> Spending a narrative declaration to ensure the sewer workers have a appropriately compensated for their arduous occupation. GM, I would like to spend a hero point to ensure that the sewer workers have a union. <laughs> um, that goes beyond the uh, the limit of hero points. How about all three of them? Three of them? Oh, three of them's really tempting. No. Okay, is... sure. No, it's a joke. Continue. Damn it! The sewer workers union? <laughs> and, the, and meanwhile, there's like the one sewer union. worker who's like, well... Mr. Baldrick decided three hero points was too many. Guess I'm working a double ship over Christmas again. <laughs> Why can't I play in the abandoned copper mines, Mommy? Because Senator Bevel did not clear out the vampires. <laughs> you I was waiting for there to be a point war to where it's like, I spent a hero point for a union. I spent a villa point for them all to get fired anyway. I spent another I spent a hero point for them to get rehired, but they're rehired at lower pay. It's like I would like to spend a hero point to make sure that they are called the Poo Poo Boys Union. I would like to spend a hero point to continue. True. All right, keep going. This is, this is on you. So the plan thus far, this is just me, Erndil speaking. The plan thus far is uh, Tannhauser Volley disguised as members of the Tyrants Guild with potentially benefits to their deceptions and whatnot to go in through the front door, Orin scouting, and then me, Crunch, and Rahua going in through the sewer to sewer attack. And I'll stay behind here, Duhakis waves. That is correct. Yes, definitely stay behind. Oh, of course. Lots of research to be done. All right, Oren. Yeah. Got to move on and start looking out, see if you can get us anything interesting before we meet up. Hold on. Before we go, is there any means we have to remain in contact with one another while on the mission? Hmm. No. I see. I would Within. like to, with my preparation. You don't have psionic stuff. Uh, there, there is a spell, um, what's it called? There, there's a spell called, uh, there's, what's this, what's, I think it's a first level or something. It, you make a mark on something and you always know where that is. I can't um, remember the spell. Arcane mark? Um, I think it, yeah, let me, let me see. It's just like putting a rune on something. No, there, there's a thing that you can do to where it, it is a spell. I don't know if Tannhauser would have access to it, uh, to where he could just literally just mark it on, like, on something and be like, I know where Orin is the entire time. <laughs> Tannhauser does not have a lot of support spells. It yeah, is like, all murder all the way down. We don't have psionics. Okay. Okay, well, I can't remember the spell, so I'm just going to uh, dodge it for now. But anyway, Orin will go like, like, don't worry, I know my way back think if you Bond get you lost yeah bread we'll, we're not no oh, no stop <laughs> you got my point being we'll pick a location for us to meet before we all go off to our respective locations you get scouting information and in, come back and then we will all go off and do what we need to 
Oh, where's the, what? What's the rendezvous point? Uh, Baldr consults a map of outset nearby. Yeah, I assume you have like four different ones on your uh, your wall. Yeah, he's going to go with the new version. The new version was put on lamellar paper. It was made from uh, papyrus instead of, you know, uh, wheat. So he's going to do that. And he looks at it, and he realizes there is a nice little open square area nearby that is relatively uncontested by anyone and is, in fact, just an empty location. Here. Meet at Bingham Square. Bingham That's Square? Good. I didn't name it, kid. No, that was me asking out of <laughs> character. That's a... <laughs> more like Bingus Square. Do, you, do, you, do I need to explain the history of Bingham Square to you? Why is it history? called Bingham Square? <laughs> it's called Bingham Square because one of the great delvers of the past, I think, 40 years, uh, Arkved Bingham, uh, that was his name as people knew him. Well, he, uh, he came back after one expedition with an artifact of reasonable power and went insane and proceeded to go on a rampage murdering guards, and he was hung from this square. Oh. So they uh, named it after him? See, the artifact that he took was so immensely cursed that it actually caused everything about the execution to go horribly wrong until the last moment. So they put up the they put up the gallows to hang him. The gallows fell apart the day prior to him getting hanged. They set up an executioner's block to chop his head off. The executioner's sword bounced off the wood and cracked in half, stabbing the executioner in the eye. They tried to electrocute him using a couple of sourced mages. Uh, both the mages experienced temporal flux and exploded. It was only at the last attempt when they have created this massive guillotine with a number of other contraptions to destroy him. All of them fell apart, and he survived for exactly one minute before one of the timbers of the guillotine fell and crushed into death. That's if you believe the official story. It's a little too far-fetched to not be real. Well, I know that some people still believe he's out there. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to say, like, when, when Vali was like, so, so they, they named it after him? No, they named it after his ghost. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to understand is I'm less worried about Bingham's ghost and I'm more worried about whatever the hell the artifact was that he found. Well, maybe we'll uh, kill two birds with one stone. We'll infiltrate, no. we'll, we'll, we'll kill the Cardoza, and um, then we'll find a cursed artifact. No, you don't want to because it was extremely bad luck. Rahua raises. What if we gave hand? it to I want else. to find a cursed artifact. See, Rahua wants not. to find a cursed artifact. We are not finding Bingham's artifact. How cursed oh. is cursed? <laughs> Let's not go there. I just. I, it's a neutral question! <laughs> Let's go to Bingham's funny ghost square. It was before my time. And? You expect me to give you full... Dehacus! Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I want the story of Bingham, huh? Oh, it's, uh... Not the story of Bingham. What do you know about the artifact? Because it was before my time. Ah, yes, well, um, you, you see, and she, like, like kind of, like, hobbles over a bit. All right, so, so Bingham had gone down sev several layers into the buried city, uh, utilizing the, the, the sinkhole, uh, you know, in order to, to get further down. Now, um, when, when they had done their expeditions, they'd done so, uh, investigating areas around the time of, oh, well, um, just prior to the prince's arrival here in Outset, which, oh, artifacts from those times are quite strange. You know, there, there was at one point a, a fake conglomerate that ran the city. I think there was a, a, a fundamental. Someone from Amari came here, then a plague wiped them out. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. There, there was even a barbarian from Tolim. Uh, but no one knows what, what era Bingham's discovery was, was from. But, but what they did say about it is that people who looked at it weren't the same. There's like elevator music playing in Bali's head. <laughs> yeah, like, like, proper noun, proper noun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> exactly. I think there's a couple depictions of what Bingham looked like before and after he found the artifact, and what he looked like after was not pretty. Oh. Did he have a cool hat after? 
Oh, he had no. I think he. Hat. I think his. I think oh, his skull mutated and split open and did a whole bunch of horrible crap. I don't have any depictions because I don't keep those books. So it was, in a way, a cool hat. Thurston, uh, how are we to just yes. change? I apologize. Yes. Uh, with your permission, uh, to mm -hmm. start a session and I guess new day. Can I rearrange some spells real quick? Absolutely. I want to get animal yeah, messenger to help solve our communication problem. Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! <gasps> yeah, because I was—I remembered. I was like, "Oh right, <laughs> I'm a druid." <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember that. that. Ah, there it is. Uh, animal. I got it. That's a cool thing I can do. I can just like drag this, and hopefully that works how I want. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna get rid of that ability, and then put animal messer whoop, on this character sheet. There we go. I now have animal messer. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Terrific. So Very it takes, nice. remember, it takes a minute to cast, but when you do so, you can, like, yeah, shoot it out to yeah. people. So. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and while, while, he's been, while he's been messing with his spells, Volley and Baldrick have been discussing what Bingham could have looked like. I think he might have had a <laughs> sunken skull, too. Baldrick, do you have a, do you have, like, a red ribbon or a red piece of cloth or something? Um, hmm. Fumbling around, I would presume I'd have something that is a little bit more obvious. I, yeah, like you, you probably don't have like that colored ribbon, or but you have a piece of cloth and various alchemicals that could easily dye something red. Yeah, I will do that then. Uh, as you're doing this, Crunch kind of walks up to you, Rahua. Uh, uh, it appears, uh, my, 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 my dear friend, we're going to be in, in a squad together. I'm quite excited. Yes, I'm quite excited as well. Please, I do hope you don't fall on your back again, and I have to get you up. I agree, I agree. That would be m most, most unfortunate. Now, 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 I, I'm not, I haven't been part of the team very long. Do you have any, like, signals or, uh, you know, um, alpha one, and then I go behind and use my hammer in a certain way, or, or, or is there something that I, I, I should know to, to be of the most assistance? Mm, yes. Oh, thanks for a moment. Well, I don't think we have any overt signals. I suppose we could come up with some sort of call phrase if we were to... How, how do you say pincer attack some horrible beastie? Normally, the screams of our friends in pain tells us to go help them. That's about as coordinated things get off it. What, 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 what would be a, a, a good, a good uh, such phrase for, for two strapping heroes such as ourselves? Hmm? Now, mind you, Rahul is not exactly the, the strategizing type. He hasn't been around on this, this horrible, horrible world long enough to develop some sort of musketeer-esque rallying cry. So the best Rahul is going to have to give him is, uh, get him? Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. And then we you truly up are an envoy with your words, sir. Thank you, Crunch. That was very kind of you, and you are very much heavy with your armor. Th th thank, thank, thank. Any, anyways, oh, apologies. And like Crunch looks back to the rest of the room. <laughs> now that Rahu and I have bonded, you may continue. He ain't heavy. He's my blacksmith. Fine! Last time I tried to tell a joke! Let's go! <laughs> she jumps out the window. <laughs> yeah, throws a smoke bomb. <laughs> then you just, just hear the go sound anywhere. of the bicycle as he... So <laughs> yeah. Oh, that does, actually, that does actually remind me, Thurston. I wanted to spend a little bit more time prior to us departing to make some more alchemical stuff, if that's not a problem. Uh, okay, what, what exactly? Like, I just wanted to make some smoke sticks for everyone to use. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll even assume you kind of like had them. Give me give me a crafting check, and as long as you don't botch it terribly, uh, I will let you uh, assumedly have had some under construction. Oh wait, no, I can actually just make regular ones since we could just I could just use some of my stuff without having to do that. If you want to, yeah, I would actually rather make the twenty four hour versions okay. rather than like spend money to make it. Okay, that smoke sticks are cheap. Yeah, but how cheap? They're tw it says they're twelve gold. Uh, I mean, okay. Let me let me let me double let me double check here. That seems a bit a bit <laughs> off, but I could be wrong. Smoke, smoke, 
smoke. smoke. You smoking yet? Smoke this fire. Uh, I mean, one of them is like only like three gold, so. I'm not doing that. That's that's All too right. much. Uh, so let me see. That would be it's four plus my intel my intelligence bonus, right? For uh, the amount of craftables I can make. Uh, let me quadruple check. Because my level's four. Yeah. Um. Blah, blah, uh. Equal to your level plus your intelligence modifier. Okay, so, so I have eight. eight. Yeah. And we have one, two, three, four, five people. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna give Crouch one because we can just cover him. Okay, then I will uh, advanced alchemy up. Oh wait, advanced alchemy means I can make a bunch, so I'll make six actually, and using only three. Fantastic. There you go. So using advanced alchemy and spending three of my stuff, three of my uh, infused ingredients, I will make six smoke sticks and pass them out between the group. Who gets the extra ones? I'll give it to Crunch. Okay. Well, Crunch. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. All right, give everyone a smoke stick, please. Smoke stick okay. lesser. Okay, I will. I will get that going. Nice. Okay, what's everyone else uh, wanting to do? Are you gonna start heading out now? Um. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Bali, do you need to do a thing? Oh, oh. Uh, should we go ahead and put on the uh, Tyrant's Guild outfits, or should we wait until we're in the the alleyway to do that? Some, we'll wait till we're somewhere hidden to do that, I think, because if we just do that and saunter around, this we is could true. get seen. This is true, so I will just kind of fold it up, tuck it tuck it in the, under my jacket or something. You'll probably wear it uh, before you start infiltrating. Just go as yourself, yeah. so you don't switch it. So yep. Someone right. will come at the Rahua and be like, Rahua, I need your help. Yes, Soren. With what? I need you to help me catch a bird. Excuse me? It's, it's going to be the messenger. Be a little, it's going to be a little bird that kind of helps uh, assemble everybody. Okay. I, do you have any propositions how to catch this bird? Ah, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, come outside with me real quick. And Rohu will follow Oren outside. Okay. So I want to cast Animal Messenger. But I want to go about it in a roundabout way. Okay. It says, like, offer food or an, or and an ordinary tiny animal within range approaches to eat it and all this other stuff. I want Rahua to basically be the enticing piece that, like, I want Rahua to have, like, a berry on him or something and have, like, birds come after him and we, and we take our pick. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Interesting. okay. Okay. This is this isn't like actually like a saucer is gonna come for for audio people. I just put a big saucer face on the screen. It's just more the eyes are about my reaction to this plan. It kind of encompasses the dread I'm feeling. So, Oren, what you want me to do, because you don't have any food on you, you want me to just pull something out of myself, out of thin air, to summon these birds? What do you think I am? I mean... You think I really do that? You're mostly more, like, normally I try to extend my hand out and the thing is a branch, but I think you're a better subject to kind of attract something here, so then we can, uh, you know, then I could talk to it and convince it to be our messenger for today. So I just need you... To be as tree-like and as tantalizing the birds as possible. <laughs> oh my god. How does Rahua do you, feel about this? <laughs> do you really think that I am just some bevy of natural resources to be given out willy-nilly? No, you're my friend, Rahua. Who oh, that's Rahua. very sweet. But you're wrong, because I absolutely <laughs> am. And Rahua will start opening up the various compartments around his frame and pulling out some sort of berries. Uh, because it's still in my inventory, I still have the fucking pick spider legs. So we're going to try and attract any kind of animal that's avian. This is Hulky. He's like, I've been waiting this for this since session one. Hulky has a bunch moment. of like rotten spider legs in his body. And the only thing he's going to collect is a giant fly. I mean, if it works, it works. 
You're gonna right. regret those words. We're trying to we're trying to attract the attention of a crow. So if we could find a crow, okay, okay, Rahua, here, hold my. Oh, I'm right here. He, bring, he brings. <laughs> shut up. That he hands you his, uh, his staff. It's like bat away any other birds that's not a crow. Okay. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong here, Chad? What could possibly <laughs> go fucking wrong here? Rohu will take Oren's staff and he will remember those words. Okay. <laughs> okay, we only want a crow. Because any other birds won't do for this mission. Okay. Only a now, crow. Now repeat after me. You have to make it nice and loud so they know the food's here and you're calling them, okay? Okay. I look up to the sky, go, ah! Do that. Ah! <laughs> like that? Like that? I let the cast animal messenger and see what happens. Ah! So this is a minute. It takes you a minute of this specific variant of a shit show to occur. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. So we're doing that. Um, we could let's go to somebody else. I've, I've got no, 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 no. We're going to we're going to get through this because, you know, uh, Rahua, my friend, my companion, um, you have you have nature. Give me a nature check. Absolutely. Here, I'll give you a nature check right now. I am so scared. Or oh, that was almost in that one. That was a 16. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, as you are you are preparing your animal messenger, Oren, um... Alright, so... At this point, like, several birds uh, present themselves, like, different avians. Like, there's, there's you know, a, a, a woodpecker, a gull, uh... Like Thursday. clearly, just like all, all manner of, of of birds, and finally, after you know a minute or so of uh, Rahua standing in the middle of the street pretending to be a tree, um, a single crow lands and begins to peck at the uh, exposed legs of the pick spider. Now, Thurston. Oh God, yes, yeah, sulky. I am going to do what I was instructed to do by Oren. So I need to, if you if you need me to, I, I understand. It's just the rules of the game. Yeah. Uh, I need to violently attack the other two birds that have appeared. That's true. You do. Uh, would you like to give me attack rolls? I will. Okay. Uh, first for the first for the the woodpecker and the gull will be second. I don't have stats for the axe, so I'm just going to use the mace. That's fine. Guys, I'm starting to think hell might be real. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to recreate the movie Birds real fast. Hold up. <laughs> Hold my spell cast. It's a 19 on the die for a 28. Uh, so you fucking obliterate the woodpecker. Like, the woodpecker just explodes in, like, bones and viscera as your, your uh, like, X parts come down on it. Uh, it is. It is. It is. It's um, not my fault. He told me to do it. And and then 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 you you like terminate or turn your head towards the gull. Uh, would you like to give me an attack roll on the gull? Sure. Do I have to make a map minus four since it's the second attack? Uh, I mean, like, depends. Did you take like a round between? No. Or Oh, okay, then yeah, 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 G give me the mic. Well, I, I, I'm not sure. How long did it take for the second bird to come by after it watched me fucking atomize? Well, I mean, I, it's quite possible that the second bird might fuck off the round after you murdered the other bird on it. So the real question is, is can Rua let this bird escape? That's a great question. I have ranged attacks. <laughs> Are you going to divine lance a fucking goal? <laughs> See, I, I feel bad about killing the woodpecker. Woodpeckers are cool. Goals are flying rats. I don't fucking care if we okay, kill it. Okay, I need to point out. Oh, wait, shit, 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 tried, hold on. Every time you tried to use your divine lance on something, specifically a chimkin, it didn't do anything. He has another spell, though. That is true. Okay, use that one. Always. <laughs> Always. Oh, actually, because I think we learned this as well. Are these, like, seagulls or are they outset? 
Oh, that's a great fucking question, Ruhu. And since you noticed, yeah, this one, like, as you look at this gull, it appears to have some, like, little objects attached to it. Like, ah. you you can tell it's it's got some bling to it, this little guy. Now, and Ruhu you recognize maybe... it as one of the outset gulls, which you would know impart a terrifying curse if they are ever fucked with. That's a, yeah, that's a great bit of clarification. I appreciate you telling me that and me asking. I'm, I'm yeah. I think for a villain point for that, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I or think it's a normal one, and now it's just like, your entire generation will be cursed for five million years, <laughs> bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's Rahua, so it's just him. <laughs> it's true, it's just Rahua. You're still fine. <laughs> I think Rahua would, you... would know enough to not fuck with an outset gull, so I will, sp against my judgment, because it's not a regular seagull, I will spare the So you the gull. obliterate the, uh, the woodpecker. Oh, yeah, that woodpecker's still look. dead as shit. Yeah, yeah, then you give a knowing look to the gull, and the gull just flies the fuck away. Yes. And then the crow lands and begins consuming. Evidently, or begins talking to the crow like. Like Kazooie from Banjo Kazooie, like you know that speech. I'm like, ah, 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 like just doing that at it, convincing ah. it to be the messenger for today. <laughs> I'd like to uh, spend. A, I would like to spend a hero point to be potentially game breaking, if that's okay. Okay, what do you, what do you want to do? I, I want it to be our messenger for the evening, instead of just like I've delivered a message and it just disappears from reality. All right, like, I will no, allow this. Mark yourself to... down. Yeah, this this guy's like, yeah, sure, I'll fucking deliver your messages all day. Since, you know, writers can't live without cell phones anymore. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and that's my bad. I'm sorry for taking too long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that, 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 that is definitely, you have to be sorry about that. No, fuck, that was great. All right, so the rest of you cut, probably finish up in Baldrick's house as Baldrick has finished handing out the smoke sticks to see, like, Rahua... Um, with, like, gore and feathers on part of him, uh, stop standing like a an upright tree for just a moment and go back to a more, like, agile pose as you exit. <laughs> All right, we hear Speaker's huh? chair in response. <laughs> that's the squeak of the bicycle. Oh, no, that's, that's, the, that's the sound that all of the outset gulls make. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you hear them? Yeah. But it's, it's beautiful. I hate the it. birds, they are singing. <laughs> Isn't it? No. Squeaker D. Squeaker D. Anyway. Thank you, Mr. Oliver Critic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that our bird massacre is concluded, are we ready to head out, gang? I'm not sure we needed to do that, but yeah. Yes, or in told to do that. Uh, uh, is this some sort of ritual, Rahua, that you bathe yourselves in the, in the blood of animals to scare your opponents? N no, Oren wanted yes. me to find a crow, so he just told me to kill anything that came close. His name's Jeremy. He puts the cloth around you. You cannot name him Jeremy. We already had one. <laughs> that was Jeffrey. Jeremy. Yeah, Jeffrey. No, no, it was Jeremy. <laughs> Trust Jeremy me, it was Jeremy. I know. I remember. <laughs> I remember. But it's uh, it's Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> me and Jeffrey go scout now, and he runs. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So. In the sake of 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 uh, not having another whatever the fuck bit happens, um, you all make your way uh, towards a Derek Sutherland house. Um, Oren, you had arrived early, uh, scoping out from one of the abandoned buildings opposite. If you want to give me a perception check, uh, just to represent what you uh, what what you you suss out before your your allies arrive, we'll, we'll go with that. Sure thing. Sussy. Yes. Ooh. I got, a, I got a six on the die, but it's 18 total. Um, is that good or bad? It's, it's reasonable. Um, it gives you enough to assess the, the building. It matches up very much with 
the information that Baldrick had provided, you can tell that it is a, a fairly large structure that overhangs the side of the sinkhole, uh, just along sort of like the, the western edge of it. Uh, it also has one primary entrance. There are some, um, there are some like reasonable like sets of like plant life in the front, uh, just to the the south of the entrance, or sorry, just to the further west of the entrance. There's a large fountain uh, that like spews water. It's one of the few opulent displays in this district that you've seen. Yeah. Uh, there are two kind of like side buildings. Uh, that only go up a single floor that you can you can spot uh, sort of like little squat areas. You're guessing they're probably like support for the, the larger structure itself. Um, and you can see that both of these two buildings have square or well, semi-circular uh, skylights. So you're kind of up about two, store, two or three stories in one of the sort of abandoned buildings nearby, looking down at this structure, and you can see that there are points where you could glide in to get access through um, like a skylight sort of area, a left or a right building, essentially. You know, they're all part of the same bigger structure. They're just yeah. sort of like side, side structures. Thurston, so I, often I do this, could you give us a bit of a visual representation of what you were doing? I was a little, I was having a hard time following that. Okay. Um, do the drawing. It's like a doodle. Like this if you want. Put a yeah. Tie on yeah. One I, sec. Uh, I'll, gi I'll give you a doodle. <laughs> Just a doodle. That or I can doodle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me, let me, let me figure out a doodle. Let me, let me, let me do a doodle here. Uh, I just need to set something up so I can see it on the other monitor so I can share this all with you really quick. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all Pretty doing good. great. Love mm -hmm. your faces. I'm totally I'm not imagining just... imagining Orin's scribbling down on a piece of paper as he's doing a scouting mission. Yeah, and like, you're all gonna come in. Okay, so... Scrumbling. Oh, that's really good. Raw freehand. Sure, I think I think this will work. Okay, so there's like. Hey, Chad, how's it going? But everyone's uh, everyone's having a good time. Everyone's having a bad time. Yeah, I'm doing terrible. Okay, I'm uh, doing so here, here's 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 my terrible picture. Okay, okay. great. Um, here we go. So there's like. What? Picture. There we go. Okay, picture. Let's see. Picture, picture. Okay, Art do you see screen. it in the top right corner? You should. No. Really? I don't see no. it. Oh, wait, you're on the city streets. That would be why. <laughs> We're on the city streets. Oh. You showed oh, us I nothing. See. Die. I showed you nothing. Um. Well, then, fine. Here, I will bring you back here. Okay, top right corner. I've done, like, a really terrible sketch here. Um, look, <laughs> you can right? all judge me. I don't care. <laughs> this is just This is just how I do, okay? That, that's, yes. a, that's, a, that's a chimney. <laughs> That's among <laughs> us. I don't know about you. Among us, I, us. If, if, I, if I didn't know it would fuck up all the audio, I'd just quit the server right now. Okay. Uh, among us, Golem. Okay, so, so like. Okay, so there's like. This bit. Wait, no, fuck it. Okay, God damn it. Okay, well, I'm fucking hell. It's, now there's an Among Us there. Okay, good. Um, all right, so there's like the door that's there, um, and then there is like these little like skylights here, um, and this section like here, this like bigger part, is is what rises up. These sort of areas here on the side, these only now it looks like a fucking carriage. Um, these these sort of areas <laughs> on the side here, those only go up one story, so you could like glide down and go through those like skylights. This like this area here kind of goes up the equivalent of like three, maybe even four stories. Uh, based on what you have from Baldrick, you would know that that area is where like the gala room is in the back here. And then there's something underneath it, but you don't know what. I'm gonna, um, yeah, okay, there we go. There's there there's the Among Us. Does that give you a rough example? Or doodles all this down. Okay, yeah, probably yeah, better than This I is fine. Know. Okay, so yeah. Looks like the cathedral from Black and White too. 
Yes? Die. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Anywho, this oh. is why I get professionals to draw my maps, because fuck! Okay, so, <laughs> um, so you, 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 you sort of come across, um, and I should also point out that there's, like, as I mentioned, there's, like, a fountain outside, ooh, and then there's basically, like, a big sort of courtyard area that's all, like, locked in and fenced in, so you, like... Or and you could glide to this like sort of over yeah. overhang area if you want to. Uh, anyone else would sort of have to come through the courtyard, like if you wanted to uh, go inside, and then you know the sewer access would probably come in through the basement that you can't see. Ta-da! Ah. You did it. Uh, all right. So, so what is what is the plan, my companion friends? Same as before. All right, so we begin with, we begin with Sir Oren, gliding in to, to 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 get us intel. Is that correct? Well, presumably Oren has already given us as much as information as he can get. Yeah, presumably. I, I, as he was up there doodling, he came back to everyone and he went up to Baldrick and he was like, hey, "Mr. Baldrick, here I got a layout of the place. Here you go." And he hands you a piece of parchment, like super proud of it, but it's like crayon scribbles. Like, he hands me a, he hands me a giant sheet of parchment with just an Among Us on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way to hurt my feelings, Erdell. No. Yeah. Yes. But it's all just, it's its super vague. You have no idea what anything is. There's like notes of like bad guys here with a giant arrow vaguely in an area. Right. Well. I will assume that the path of the sewer is still the same as it has been. And as far as you, as far as you know, yeah. The, the way that the sewer path worked was that there is a an exterior entrance to this place, so you could go through that entrance. You just use the sewers to get along, sort of down maybe two or three stories um, on the side of the sinkhole. Essentially using a sewage pipe that, like, pushes stuff into the sinkhole and then going through there. Alright, so you're still going up through the top? Yeah, I'll fly over maybe on this left side here. Alright, and Volley and Tenhauser going straight up the front. Yep. Did you see anything inside, Oren? Anything strange? Did I see anything inside? With your perception check, you saw that there were some some shadows moving around through the uh, the windows. Like you, there, there's like a large window that overlooks the the main entrance, and you saw some shadows. Probably guessing there were maybe three figures there moving back and forth routinely. I relayed that information, to everybody. Okay. Hmm. Um. Do I, I have that ability to enchant people's weapons with the moss enchantment, right? And like once. Uh, yeah, so so that is a first level spell. Uh, let me just drop it in the the thing here. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. 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 Basic, basically, as we set that up, uh, Ames and Orange going to come up to Tannhauser. Got it. Mr. Tannhauser. Yeah. <laughs> It only lasts for a minute, though, so it's um, not not like a super long. It's more like a magic weapon type thing you'd use in combat. Or in there I, Mr. Tannhaus. <laughs> 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 approaches you like Shepard approaches Rex. Tannhauser. Oren. <laughs> yeah. Oren. Yep. Tannhauser. Uh, what I... Give a okay, I lasted for 10 minutes. Never mind. I had a Jeez. spell called Spider Climb, and I was going to go, here you go, Tannhauser. <laughs> That would have been fucking cool. Yeah. But I, that would also have probably thrown off my disguise a little bit if I just walk up to the front door, crawling on all the walls. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm your new guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tyrant's Guild. That may not be that weird. Yeah, you no, know, it, it yeah. would be. It would be sad. They don't have spiders. Probably have been promoted. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, if you show up and work and your head spinning 360 degrees, spewing out green ick, I think they give you a promotion. Damn, this really is a dystopian society. Even the elites can't afford society. spiders. 
<laughs> All righty. So um, my my understanding to kick off this absolute shit show, uh, Oren, you're going to to glide in a bit before everyone else to do some initial reconnaissance through the through that window. Um, mm. Then uh, at, simultaneously, we will have Rahua, Baldrick, and Crunch going in through the the underground sewer access point, and then we will have Tanhauser and Vali going through the front door. Is that correct? Yes. 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 All right, then let us let us begin with uh, with our sweet bird boy, since our sweet bird boy is the one who is uh, t- going in first, and he presumably can warn others of things. All right, um, you are gliding, if I am correct. Um, you want to uh, you want to you want to give me a little little check to see how your glide goes over to this building. Come on, fly boy, die. Yeah. What do I need to give you? Uh, so I believe in this case, um, take no damage. I think it's just gonna be. Ath- Is it athletics it'd for be you? In athletics. Yeah. If, I, if I'm long jumping, it'd be in athletics. The following yeah, yeah, part, yeah. the following part yeah. kind of gets kind of mister- mysterious because it's like I can only yeah. jump so far, and then the yeah, gliding yeah. parts just I just fall. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give I'll give I'll give you a little little bit of a narrative leeway here, but just give me the athletics check to see if you sure you know can. get the good. Uh... I got oh, a yeah. twenty-one. A twenty-one. Okay, so you manage to to land atop the the leftmost structure. Um, you can see that there is a a like a basically a skylight that looks overlooks it. Uh, there is a a small locking mechanism, though it doesn't require a key or anything. It's just a latch, mostly, uh, that allows you to to pop this open. It overlooks what appears to be some kind of washroom. You can see that there are uh, white, like, marble tiles, uh, three, like, sink wash basins, a bit of a like couch chair in the corner uh, and then you can see the doors into what are the, 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 the individual toilets in the area. Okay, okay. We're just gonna try to sneak around, see what's about. Where all the stalls are empty. Okay, so you're gonna like drop in after you've you've like popped open the latch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, kind of drop in there. Okay, absolutely. Uh, are you trying to do this quietly? Yes. You want to give me a stealth check, my yeah, friend? My plus two stealth. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I've been talking for way too much. Uh, Don't apologize. You're fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, sorry, uh-huh. fellas. Uh, my stealth check is a 21. Okay, so you are going to hop and land in here. Um, I am going to now. Hopefully this will work. Uh, all of you are going to get a black screen. I apologize for this. Uh, oop, okay. Uh, it should have preloaded, but it might take a sec. Yeah. All right, um, and then you just need to find yourself. There you go. All right, you find yourself landing into this, this lovely washroom. Uh, you Shit, can see they two of them. Yeah, they do. Uh, two of the stalls are open. Uh, two of them are closed. Uh, you land, like making very, very little, little sound, like kind of like a slight k-tuk as you land. Okay, we're just gonna do a perception check, listening. Okay, make yeah, sure can, gets clear. absolutely. Ooh. I saw that one. <laughs> I got a 19 on my perception check. Really? Thurston. No. I'm not doing this bit. Bit's what? bad. No. Banished. <laughs> no. No toilet humor, please. Hello? <laughs> Horn doesn't want to speak. Are you there? Why is Mickey Mouse shitting in this bathroom? (laughs) (laughs) But first, you you, you wasted your one chance. Please please tell me you're not. Please tell me you're not with them. Uh, maintenance? Uh, I didn't hear the door open. Um, look, I'm running out of sounds to make to make them think I'm still in here, okay? But... Why do you have to make sounds? You could have just been quiet the entire time. Cause they, cause, cause, cause I need them to know I'm still in here. Cause, cause if, if, if I don't, they'll, they'll take me into the big room with the rest of them. What do you mean big room with the rest of them? You mean the party? 
Uh, uh -huh. I mean... I mean, come on, you don't have to be so afraid of parties. Look, I understand that sometimes people are a little bit afraid to, to socialize out there. And, and if you're having problems socializing, I can help you out, man. Uh, you know, you don't quite uh, uh, understand. The people who went in that room, they, they something weird happened to their eyes, and I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to go there. Look, sometimes, sometimes, you know, substances and everything can make everybody look just a little bit scary. Like, you can just come on out and we'll just, you know, introduce you to everybody. You know, it was like, like, I, I feel like you just need a wingman to help you get to meet people. I was, I was just thinking I could, could stay in here. You know, I, I, I mean, maybe, I, maybe I die in here, but I could stay here and it might be better than whatever happened to those, those other people. Wait, I mean, die on other people. Oh, well, uh, 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 their eyes, their, their, their eyes were right. Uh, so, so I was just gonna, gonna stay in here. Um, I, 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 I don't know if, if like you die and you become some kind of like, some kind of special ghost that haunts toilets, but I think I'm just gonna live here now. Okay, well, I want to go out there soon and everything. Is there anything else I should worry about? Um, well, um, there's, there's some, there's some abasers in, in, in the main foyer there, uh, that, that, that they're just, just guarding, making sure no one leaves, or, uh, you know, looking after people, uh, but, 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 but a lot of the others are, most of them are up in the, up in the second floor, uh, but that door, that door got locked. Don't know how to get in there right now. Okay, well, you hang out here and I'll, uh, I'll go scope things out. Oh, okay. I can't leave if I wanted to. Uh, the handle in here is broken. Ah. Uh, good luck, man. And Orin's gonna change into his disguise. I said he got I, I love this Curse of Monkey Island bit. <laughs> Orin, I, I assume I have a disguise and everything. Uh, uh you want to give disguise. me You want to give me a deception check? What the hell? What is this? <laughs> what the hell? Prompts, I'll get you out of here, save him, and out of here, leave. <laughs> kill him, and why is Dots? <laughs> it's a telltale game, man. What on earth are you doing? That nothing. All right, you want to give me that deception you. check? It's all gone over my head. All right, stealth check. Or deception, rather, my bad. Uh, deception. Yeah. Minus one, here I go. You must deceive the telltale prompt. I got a four. Glass you got a four? Okay. A um, uh, you, you really don't know how to put this Tyrant's Guild equipment on. It's all disheveled and mismatched. The buttons are on wrong. Because you're yeah. fucking chicken legs. <laughs> chicken legs are very obvious. Um, the, the, like, the mask is on upside down somehow. Alright, Orin's going to, um, I guess this is the main door over here uh yeah okay he's going to peek out uh sure yeah give me get, open the door and give me a stealth check at the same time okay also could you put observation with everybody on my token like it's okay if they uh, just i'll feel bad yeah but... one sec Sorry, it becomes a here's, bit jank. Here's my stealth time. check. I got a natural 20. <gasps> yeah, you <laughs> are... You are absolutely... Uh, the quietest quiet whoever quieted as you, like, peek open the door and you can see... What the frick? Um, you could see several uh, figures in the hall. Um members of the Tyrant's Guild, you can see. Essentially, the, the, this, this this large fo entry foyer has uh, two sets of stairs that spiral up, or sorry, curve up to a second floor uh, yeah. where there's like balcony. You can see that there's like red carpet in here. Uh, there's an abaser who's maybe 15, 20 feet away from you, just sort of patrolling. Uh, each of them are similar to the ones you, you encountered on the streets. They're, they're like clutching on to uh, swords and shields and they appear to just be doing Doing like routine patrols of this foyer where all the doors are currently closed. Okay, Orn's going to then uh, cast 
He'll cast Pest Form. Okay. And he's going to turn into a... Actually, let me recall knowledge. Do they like... Do Tyrant skills like cats or anything any significance to them? Uh, that'd be like like individual per person as far as you're aware. Okay, he's just going to turn into a, to a rat then. And then okay. try to scurry around then. Let me see if I can put... Yeah, I can't put it on me right now. But yeah, I basically am rat now. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So you like like adjust into a rat. Okay. Uh, and then you want to just like go out into the front area. Yeah, I want to try to meet up into the front so I can help, uh, like Ten Hauser and Volley and stuff, and try to feed them information. Okay. You want to like make your way there? Yeah. Scurry, like go ah, behind, and then go behind that guy, and then scurry this way. Yeah. And I assume I could slip under the door. Yeah. Um. Give me an acrobatics check. You gotta attack him. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Like I'm trying to <laughs> go through this. You guys can play too. Uh. Another natural twenty. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. okay. Uh, you're able to, like, Bing. shake your giant ass out and, like, push push yourself, uh, propelling yourself under the door, kind of flying forward towards the, um, towards the fountain uh, to, to the west. This is kind of off orientation, but, like, basically, like, your south. Yeah. Uh, just as you can see, um, Volley and Tannhauser, can both of you give me deception checks as well? Of course. For oh for God. audio people who are unaware, we have had three net twenties so far. Yeah. Um, you want to drag my token to where I can see things? I see just a wall. That's the anything. that's the end of the map. I don't have the fountain or anything here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, in lieu of a deception check, I'm going to roll my society thanks to my feet. Okay. I am going to just roll deception. Oh yeah. Ooh. Nineteen. Twenty-seven. Uh, yeah, Volley, you look very imposing as a member of the Tyrant's Guild. Uh, Tannhauser, you, you you have, like, a passable appearance with it. Um, like, you can tell you both look the part, but Volley really looks the part. Uh, and so to that to that extent, uh, Oren, as you come out, you can see your, your two allies. There's enough of your, your friends to sort of give away their their appearance as they're approaching though for a moment you have to double take volley as she like walks uh from basically entering into the into the place by by the fountain you have to double take a bit as volley appears very much to look like she is uh, at home as a member of the tyrant's guild okay i assume uh assume i'm seeing this and everything do i see any like obstacles in their way like would you to try to Communicate to nope, them? like, this area is okay. entirely open. Okay, so, like, no one's in it. No one on the walls, Correct, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna slip back inside. Okay. Or, yeah. Or, before I do that, I'm gonna basically try to call in Crow Friend. And just try to communicate him via rat speak to be all like, all right, go and go and call four times near them. And hopefully they pick it up. There's like there's four people spotted so far, and then meet me back at the door. And then Orange gonna okay, okay, okay. Side. This is where I have to kind of this is where I have to kind of call it call it out though, because like the messenger just lets you deliver physical messages. You Darn. can't like talk to this bird. What? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> also, I was gonna do a druid thing. We could, you know. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. You asked, could I have it deliver multiple messages? And I'm like, sure. Not. I can magically speak bird now. Also, the bird can understand, <laughs> like, my, my things. Also, my allies can, like, understand this fucking, like, leap tactical operative planning. No! If, it is, if there's any consolation, Zorin, this is very in line with what Orin would try to do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, regardless, regardless, Co-Frank could wait at top of bathroom. He's going to squeeze back in and go in. <laughs> the, the crow just comes in and picks up Orin instead because he's a rat. 
No! Our new world! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically he's he's sliding through and if possible I like to squeeze through this main door if possible. Okay. Um yeah, give me another acrobatics check for this door. To waiting for one of the doors to just crush me. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is a twenty-three total. Okay, that'll uh, that'll pop you through the door. Alright, you emerge into a very, very large space. Um, it appears to be a gala chamber with replete with tables. There are several nobles that are are standing around. They are they aren't sitting at the tables that they're arrayed around, but they are standing, uh, somewhat rigidly, staring off almost blindly into the distance. You can catch the face of one of them from the side as she just looks looks again towards a wall without moving. Uh, the strange thing about this one is there's a slight luminosity to her eyes. Her eyes, rather than having the, the typical appearance, actually seem to just like glow with a whitish, almost or orange yellow light. Okay. All right. So the battle plan, just to kind of summarize, I'm going to go back to the bathroom and then get out of pest form before it runs out. And then. Scroll down everything he's seen. He tries to give a general layout of the area, position of people, etc. As quick as he can. Like, it's not going to look pretty, but he tries to do what he can. And add notes of, like, people's eyes are glowing. Um, there are people scared in bathroom, etc. And try to roll that up and uh, have the crow. I'm hoping he could come down and he could release the crow out to go deliver it to Bali and Tannhauser. Because I suspect no one's going to be able to see a crow give him a message. Because when we spotted around, we couldn't see anybody. So that's that's yeah. The there's there's no one in that courtyard. So yeah, you can you can sort of here. I'll I'll shimmy you back. Uh, yeah, you okay. kind of like run back this way, go into the bathroom. Um, once you're in the bathroom, you kind of like start sketching this all down. The 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 the, the crow sort of fl like flies in like as like like you have to call for the crow, but the doors yeah. closed, so it's just the person in the stall is like, oh, are you talking to someone? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, are the guards gone yet? No, they're still here, man. Like, Bro. you're gonna be here for a while, so. Bro, I guess I am gonna be a ghost. Okay. Nah, uh, you'll be fine. Uh, go, kaka. Go <laughs> and yeah, like the crow comes out, flies the like equivalent of two feet to land by Valley and Tannhauser, who you know have been waiting for any kind of sign. Um. There is this hastily, hastily scrawled note uh, from Orin that you you have delivered by this crow. What well, what does the note say? And I, I is it legible? <laughs> All right, Zorin, here you go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I to make it simple, do you, can, can I roll a crafting check? Oh my gosh! It's still, okay, fine. Sure, sure, just to, sure. Just to, I want because I want the dice to determine how shitty it is. <laughs> oh no! GM, I'd like I to spend a, a hero point to have his pest form run out prematurely and and get crushed by the door. <laughs> no, no. I want to. I want to hero point that three. Okay. <laughs> my God. Twenty. On an acrobatics <laughs> yeah, check. What the fuck? twenty. God damn it! All right, so it's it's like it's like you know, I, I, it's like a fucking civil war letter. Like, dear Tanhauser and Valley, it has been like too dear, long since dear I last Tan saw you. Dear Mario, please I come to my home. I baked inside. you a cake. Love, Peach. <laughs> I've been oh my stuck God, within it's got these hollow halls for many a day. The hour, the hours have been stretched so long, and my tiny rat mind has seemingly become months. I have. I've, <laughs> And it's just this long, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> just like, I was like, here is an accurate dis uh, description of all of them, along with their list of fears that I've suspected being a rat for, for so long. Here you are. May may the wings fly you ever forward. Love, Orin. His little happy Orin face. And he was legit in there for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like holding this letter out in front of Tannhauser, just... <laughs> Oh my god, it's got like a photorealistic doodle of him like doing a thumbs up. I didn't even know he could read. I... <laughs> I'm sorry to distract real quick. 
Uh, Elliot posted a really good thing in the campaign memes chat. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the. The. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Good. <laughs> Fucking posting the Magna Carta. Uh. <laughs> the Magna Carta! <laughs> oh god. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a look over. Alright, Tanny. So, we've got some guards out front. Weird eye mutations on the people inside. Apparently, this isn't something they came in with. Maybe we should try and interrogate that guy in the bathroom? Perhaps so. Or we just walk in and try and find the martinet. Perhaps a man hiding could lead us to it. In either case, it's time we made our move. Right. All right. Step up, lip and all. Get all like salute him. And I'll return oh, okay. the salute. Just follow my lead. These people are animals, and they only respect brutality. And I'm going to open the door. Yep. And just walk in like I belong here. Click that button, open the door. All right, and I'm I'm following behind him. Uh, very, oh. very stiffly. Intruder, shut the gates! Get activate oh, all no. the alarms! Uh, one of the one of, one of the ones on the these sort of curving stairs that lead up to the second floor starts stepping down the steps, hails you with a hand. Tanhauser uh, spots you, you slightly behind Volley. Hail there! Hey. Um, it relieve you? Relieve us? Uh, we were we were told that there wasn't going to be relief for for at least another eight hours. Well, then it should be a pleasant surprise. Um, this is not a you. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent us? Yeah. Uh, oh, we would know. We would know the, the, the commanders in the area, yeah? Um, no. Baldrick what? doesn't even know that. Oh. We were given a general order for relief. We've come from a recently pacified aspect of the city. But, but but who gave the order? I'm afraid that that is confidential. You're on a highly sensitive mission. Um, Martinet's ears only. I've been working in this uh, this this region for the past nine years, friend. Uh, uh, Give me your serial number. What? Your serial number. Assuming you're not a traitor. Uh, Thurston, remember. Yes, I'm. I'm remembering. Uh, do you want to give me? Do you want to give me a deception check here, Tanhauser? I would love to. Yeah, sure. Assist him with one. <laughs> Thurston, that was your opportunity to flip off Tanhauser. <laughs> oh. Uh, you, do have, you do have one hero point. You've got a hero point, and I gave yep. a twenty-eight. Yeah, so you will get a plus four. Um, 15 enough one? to do it? Uh, well, one sec. Did you also roll society? Is that the same as your deception? Um, oh, my deception is dog shit. But since I, since I have the ability to substitute society when attempting to blend in with the upper echelons, such as nobility and presumably these tyrants cards, uh, I can just use my society in lieu of it. Yeah. Uh... See, in this case, though, you're not making an impression. You're like, okay, wait, you can. Okay, you still need to. Uh, yeah, if you want to impersonate a specific noble, you'd still have to use deception to, to lie. So it works yeah, for I'm like... Not impersonating. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but you're trying to be a tyrant's guard. Um, all right, well, let's see here. Uh, so that's going to be a 15. It's going to be opposed. Uh, let's see. Maybe I fucking flub this roll terribly. Uh, if it's going to be opposed, I'll use a hero point to re-roll it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Aha! Take that! Now um, it's on 19. 19, all things considered. Okay. Oh. Huh. Uh, well. I'm going to have to, uh, uh, 
Go, go speak to the to the on watch commander. You you two wait here. Were we given bad information or something? Just uh, just need to check. Starts like walking off this way. Uh, comes down to this door here. Opens this door. Uh, watch him. Comes this way. Close the door. I'm gonna turn to one of them. Can you believe this fucking guy? <laughs> well, pr proper procedures and all. Uh, it, like, is is during this is like Oren like like ear against the wall listening? Like, yeah, I was about to say like, uh, have I been able like to peek and listen the entire time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you kind of rolled previously for for doing that, so I assume you kind of are able to keep it going. Okay. Um... Oren sees an opportunity. He's okay. gonna go up to the guy in the stall, and he tells yeah. them, "Hey, friend." I need you to sound like you're taking the biggest shit you've ever had in your entire life. No. I need, I need raucous, I need raucous sound, man. I need you to make a symphony right now, as loud as you can, like you are in pain and you're being murdered at the same time. First thing oh. we cut to the sewer. Oh, <laughs> um, oh well, I, I, I suppose I could, uh, um, oh, I, I suppose I just, uh, just right just, now, can... and he kicks the door. Oh. <laughs> Ah! Okay, uh, and with like as soon as we hear the like the shout, we cut to the sewer. <laughs> um, <sighs> Crunch and Crunch and Rahua and <laughs> fucking Baldrick. You were you were walking uh, currently through through this like section of. Uh, through this section of, of sewer, the, through a grate that's sort of overlooking the sinkhole. You're about to reach the end of it, though. Okay, so what does that mean for us specifically? Like, do we have Basically, to, like, you're, you're about to reach the end of the sinkhole, which will allow you to leave and, like, presumably gain access to this building. Well, because uh, it looks... It appears to be just, just ahead, and then we'll have to, uh, I suppose, walk along sort of the, 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 the edge there. That is the plan. Uh, yeah, and as as that happens, you do find yourselves uh, able to to walk along the edge of this section. Um, let me see here. The goal is to go for a very large outflow pipe. Yeah, yeah, and you you manage to like exit the outflow pipe and come along. Uh, a side section of the wall. Uh, this is on a lower level, and you can see that you're like sort of on the on the stone um, now like curved chunks of stone along the edge of the sinkhole as you were walking you can see that there is a walkway that seems to jut out from the building with the vast majority of the building held up underneath it uh, I'm just going to move us over to this scene and uh, we should see yeah, you should see your group there kind of coming along this, this stone area. There is a like a little wooden walkway that appears to go into a structure uh, further to the east. You can see this like this walkway. There's uh, like multicolored light that sort of shines down from lighting in the building above. So right where you are, there is the building sort of overhanging above you. Okay. All right. So here's the plan. Don't go too far forward out or else they'll spot us from the windows. Of course, of course, so we should stick to the wall like this. Crouch like throws himself up against the wall. Yeah. And with that, Baldrick is going to get closer to the wall as well and beckon Rahua over to the wall. Rahua will follow his suit and put himself against the wall. Okay. Yeah. He's going to inch up to the wooden opening just so I can peer around it without making like too much effort about it. Yeah, you want to give me a stealth check? Yes. I'll give yes. you stealth. Stealth. Orin fucking eating all the goddamn 20s, leaving us with nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Here comes yes. the ones. Here comes the one. Uh, let's see. I need, I want to ask first and foremost, uh, <laughs> Thurston. Yes. Will I be getting 
If I if I do an assurance and get a 16, will that be enough? Uh, that would be an opposed check, so it depends on if there's okay. anyone nearby. But 16 would be pretty good here. Mm. I would probably say you'd be good. I want to think about it, because it's like a 50-50 to do better. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just do an assurance on that. Okay. Yeah. I'll so just... you, like, solid snake up against the wall, uh, make your way, move around. Um, so for those of you who are watching, by the way, uh, what that means is Baldrick took the assurance feat, which just allows him to bypass uh, having to roll dice for certain skills. It generally kind of bumps you slightly below average, but it means you get a guaranteed roll. So in this case, he gets a 16, which is not bad at all, uh, and manages to, yeah, uh, get, get, get you access to what is essentially like a little, a little like stone hall uh, that's inside the building and there is a section of door uh, near to the to the south that appears to be like a secret door but the opposite side of one so like interesting zoom there uh um, let, me just, let me just make sure that we're not bumbling anywhere else so that really is about the end of our rope here so to speak it's like we can go a little bit further this way but then, then, then it just cuts off. It cuts off, exactly. This is kind of like the, the side entrance that you can find here. All right. In that case, I'm going to very carefully approach. Uh, d -d 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 is there anything off about this little corridor here? Um, As you're sort of checking it out, you can tell that it does, like hasn't seen a lot of use. So this is clearly some kind of back entrance or other secret entrance, perhaps an escape route. Interesting. Uh, he's going to beckon Rahua and Crunch over. Rahua, Crunch, this way. Clang, clang, right. clang. All right, so me and Rahua are going to go inside. Crunch, you are pretty fairly immovable. Yes. This looks like an exit zone here, like a secret escape. Should I set up my shield facing that way to prevent any ned to us from um, perhaps uh, departing this area? I would say duck into this alcove after me and him go inside and then just watch. Make sure nothing comes in or goes out. Of course, something of course, goes wrong. Of make a loud noise. Of course, I, 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 I have your backs, friends. Good. Mm, yes. Mm. All right. Baldrick is going to slink down the corridor. Okay. You go into darkness here. Do you have a light source? I can conjure up a tender twig. Yeah, sure. So I'll just give you a little, a little bit of light here. How long does a tender twig last? Oh, excuse me. A tender twig just lets me light something. It's not actually a... Uh, it's basically a match. Okay. Would I have a torch? Rahua, can I, bar can I, do can I damage you to make a torch? Uh, you could also... Rahua can, I think, can also cast light, right, Rahua? That is correct. I can cast light as a cantrip. <laughs> I wish you said that. All right, do that. Also remember, there's some of the tokens. There's a button. Yeah, yeah, fair. Is there one on the? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoop. There you go. I got. I got. I got it on you, Rahua. So, Rahua, you light something up. I'm assuming. Yes, his eyepiece lights up. Cool. Absolutely. I want to have him specifically in the alcove when he lights up, so he doesn't like create a fucking flashbang out in the. Yeah. And like Crunch comes up behind and sort of shields a lot of the light with his shield. Ding. Okay. So this door, this secret uh -huh. passage thing. It's got two handholds on it. Looks like you could just pull it open. Are there any pinpricks of light coming through it at all? No, it looks like it goes flush up against the wall here. Let me think about what I could possibly do to do this. Sure. Hmm. No, I don't have anything that would really help me get in here. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another stealth assurance to just carefully crack it open. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can click the door open. 
All right, so what you see inside is the interior of a prison, something you are very familiar with from dealing with the Tyrant's Guild. Uh, there's there's blood splattered over the floor. You can see two of the abasers standing sort of half at ease, half at attention um, by like some, some various uh, implements of, of their trade. A door to the north, that's clearly where the bridge goes. And then several uh, visible open stalls. Now, uh, or sorry, vis visible open like cells uh, with with just bars preventing escape from them what you do see is sort of close as you as you open the door and peer is 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 a figure in the only one inside one of the cells here uh, who sort of leans over uh, looking at you as you you kind of crack it open the abaser is seemingly not uh, noticing you but this one definitely. Uh, making contact with you. I'm presuming uh, you mean the prisoner here. Yes, and um, I don't know what's what's this child say as they make eye contact with Baldric. Who are you asking that for? Oh fuck! Hung <laughs> over peasant child. It's gonna peer around. Hi, Mister. Hi. You got any um? Not any vintage. Baldrick holds a finger up to the bottom of his helmet. As in, be quiet. I'll be quiet if you have. I. <laughs> I'm going to uh, think about this real quick. <laughs> no, 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 because. Uh... Let me let me just check my my proficiencies here. Uh, intimidation's not very good. Uh, I intimidate let me check the my chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The king, you, know what, you know what? Well, 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 Baldrick is figuring this out. I think we've set up enough fucking spinning plates. Why don't we take our break here? <laughs> yeah, I needed exactly one second to see how big my intimidate was. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick break, everybody. We will catch you all okay. here in a little bit. Enjoy some fan art for the community. Woo -woo. We'll see you all here in a little bit. As our adventurers take a break, We'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you. You sharing the videos, advertising the streams, and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. And we're back. Yay. There we go. Welcome. I can, I can get rid of the peasant child. No. He's gone. Welcome. He's gone. He's, dead. he's disappeared. He's, he's dead forever. He's, he's not dead. Dream. He has ascended. No. Give you sandwich bread. How did you know you would see the peasant child? I saw him in a dream. <laughs> You are the one for my dreams. And is the peasant child in the room with us right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can I have some more wine? No. Right, let's, put a dot, let's put a dot sensor here. Let's try to, <laughs> try to find it again. Let's so get the smoke stick. Smoke stick? <laughs> Just throw oh, it in the Can I get a sensor bar put over my face? I don't want people to know what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a sensor like you're looking at me. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, but we are back. What do you got for yes. us, Lucian? All right. So as we return, um, I believe uh, you were convincing a person in a bathroom stall to shout very loudly, Oren, uh, to yes. prove as a distraction for your allies. So we will come back to that terrifying thing, which as much as I'm sure chat would love to, to hear me yell, yell and shout, I'll, I'll save all your ears of the horrible cacophony that begins to emanate out from the bathroom uh, as both uh, Tannhauser and Valley hear this, this awful sound sound of screaming shouts coming from the west and like the the abasers immediately turn like looking confused oh gods go go you two go yep 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 got it uh and i'm gonna start running in that direction 
Yeah, okay, you can see that like two two of the guards are already making their way. Well, the other, no, no, you, no, you. Just, oh, just oh, wait oh, there, oh, wait oh, there. All that's happening. Uh, Oren. Yes, Oren. <laughs> yeah, pest farm rat hide under. I assume it's like cushion <laughs> ottoman setting thing. You sure. Yeah. Dash under there and be like, ah, rat form, go. I uh, okay. game pause, by the way. Boop, there you go. There you go. Yeah, he's going to rat for him down that way with his second okay. focus point. He has one left. Uh, right. Everything okay in here? Ah! Uh, uh, I just, just, just still, still going in here. Uh, 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 you should return to the party, sir. Oh, oh no, no, you don't want me there right now. Sure, everything's okay in there. Like you see the abaser approaching the stall. Dude. Then we cut back to like Orin and Volley and Tan, or sorry, Ta yeah, Tanhauser and Volley with the abaser here. <sighs> Gods, this like abaser sort of like looks over. It never ends this job. Uh, you You're... gotta go deal with the runs. That's one of the one of the nobles who didn't go into the to the main hall. The Martinet wanted them all in there, but he scurried off to the to the washroom. Has been in there for a few hours now. Oh, should I, should I say why? Was that funny? Was that supposed to be funny? <laughs> hey, you're right. Uh, well, said he just uh, wasn't feeling good. I think we should go in and take him out and put him in with the rest of them. Uh, right, uh, you guys need assistance over there? Yeah, you know what? Ah, uh, you two, these two new new folks, we're going to use them, they'll they'll bring the... Uh, if we're not here for relief, you might as well put us to work. That's right, all right, you two get going, go to the bathroom. Oh, okay, and the other guy standing in the way kind of walks out of the, the path. All right, excuse me, going to... Approach yeah, come on the in door. Here. We're gonna, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to, to break open this door because he's not coming out. Oh, it's, it's just real serious in here. Well, what are you gonna do if he's got the runs? Ugh. You said you you wanted to be put to work, so so get cracking on that door. Fine. I'm gonna bang on it. All right, one more chance. Uh oh. Uh, uh, I'm good. I think I think I'm all partied out. I just want to go home now. And hey, what the hell are you so scared of? Come on, I'm gonna start jiggling the door. Is the, uh, you could you could tell that like the self closing. The doorknob on this side is like like w working fine, and you could just open it. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I, I just open it. Okay. Yeah. Click it. All right, so standing there, like standing tall, right? not like on the toilet or anything, right. is is this this beautiful specimen of a rat folk who is standing tall and proud, uh, with like glasses. Clearly has been sitting down, like and, like fully attired. Clearly was not using the toilet. Oh, oh, hi. Um, I was just finishing up. <laughs> right. Are you gonna get out? Uh, I guess. Listen, I'm gonna turn to the other guard. If he's gonna stink up the place, should we just toss him out? I should I should point out there's no smells at all. Oh! <laughs> do I gaslight this guard into thinking there is one? You Do you have the skills with which you could possibly try to do that? Yes, I do. I have deception plus 11. Gaslight girl boss, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna gaslight gatekeep girl boss. There Gaslighting go. with methane. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I'm gonna um, uh, just kind of, uh, I guess I'll let Tanhauser pick up on what I'm putting down. I'm gonna um, stagger back and kind of hold my nose and just kind of. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna try to gaslight this guard. What? Smells atrocious in here. Twenty-eight. Uh, uh, you, you know, um, oh, now, um, well, um, 
I wonder if I smell anything. Um, oh, 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 it's, it's, that's awful. That's. <laughs> no. He's I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna reach over and I'm just gonna grab this rat man by the collar. <laughs> You're coming with me. And I'm going to begin dragging him. Uh, and I'm just going to go. You thought you were going to stink up. Why? Why? Oh, no. I'll show you. And I'm going to drag him to the door. As he's going, can Orn, like, stealth with them? The commotion? (laughs) As rat? Sure. Give me a stealth check. Thank you. All right, keep going, Tannism. Yeah, and I'm just going to... Just going to drag him to the door. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You drag this this poor this poor rat man to the door. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm just gonna kick him on his ass and just throw him out. Uh, I uh, don't come back. Goodness gracious. Oh, I'm gonna just close the door and. <laughs> well, hopefully that dissipates, eh? Volley, please do a wretch action to really uh, bring it into Volley, as you, <laughs> do, as, as you do that, and like like Tannhauser, as you kick this the 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 the, the, the toilet stall noble out of the uh, the establishment, uh, as you turn around from that, and uh, Orin, you see this too. Um, you can see that like very methodically, each of the the abasers here have now drawn their weapons. <sighs> oh. Um, we were under very explicit orders not to let anyone out. We very. didn't. Yeah, I don't think you're... Don't well, think we didn't you're... receive those orders, did we? You chose to block us up with red tape when we have information present on it. If you keep obstructing justice like this, I'll have you skinned alive! Uh, Can I make intimidate? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Go intimidate him. I'll uh, activate nanite surge. Sure. Fill him with bees. All right, hey, twenty-six. Jesus. Uh, he is. Oh, he, is he is particularly cowed by this. Like, takes a step back. He's more <laughs> scared of you, though. Like, you can tell that, like, you've scared him with your 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 rhetoric, but like, he still doesn't believe the rhetoric. Like. You you have delivered an impassioned, like terrifying speech to him, which is in no way based in his reality. So yeah, he is cool. more like he's scared of you at this point. Um, I'll take that. I mean, it's probably unlikely that we could ever actually shift their reality. So let's uh take advantage of this. I'm taking my soldiers to see the Martinet. If you want to stop me, you'll be the first body to fall. Get your ass together! We're the tyrant's guild. And I'm going to begin moving forward, calling Volley to my side. Squeak, squeak. Oh, shit. I'm gonna turn to the guy in the bathroom. Now he's all worked up. I'm gonna go see what the problem is. Okay. Um, and, like, he sort of backs up the other two, like, don't take, like, any aggressive actions, though it's very clear they start moving as well. Um, they're sort of, like, following you, Volley, but, like, quickly move past you. Uh, and you can see this, like, host is moving this way. Uh, alright, so, uh, Tannhauser, you were going where? Um, upstairs, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Do we have okay? Do we have even the slightest idea where the Martinet could be? Uh, we saw that guy go to talk to her, right? No, going to talk to the commander. Yeah, about the Martinet. Uh, it's probably uh, pertinent that we go into that room anyhow. Well, if there's a commander in there, we can. Well, hold that's where they're all going. It's kind of clear they no longer believe our disguises at all, and that seems to be where the largest like concentration of them are and we're not the full party so it might be that the commander is not there and the actual martinet is somewhere in the upper levels uh and if not we can probably find a tyrant's guild guy i mean we just look like tyrant's guild people once we go upstairs they're probably gonna have a hard time telling us apart from the pack this is true 
Like, even if they say, oh my god, one of the tyrants killed, it's, there's in, 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 infiltrators, they're, like, not going to know which ones are us. We can turn them against each other. They, they also, yeah, it's literally Among Us. Among Us. Among Us! I'm, I'm gonna fucking scream. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> We're gonna turn the yeah. Tyrant's Guild into Among Us. And the Tyrant's Guild does specifically not use ID tags, so they literally have nothing to go on. So let's just head up. I agree. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm on board for this plan. I think we can save it. Squeak, squeak. Our, our utility of deception is not to maintain a cover for as long as possible. It's to get us in the door so we can make a mess of things. Okay. You, Precisely. You head up the stairs. Um, there's a lovely, like, balcony with a set of doors. The the doors are impressive uh, wooden wooden doors with with elegant frescoes on them depicting the heroic tyrants guild soldiers putting down vile insurrectionists. Uh, they 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 have like a, sort of a gold filigree embossed along this like otherwise marble wall here. Um, yeah, and the, there appears to be a handle with a keyhole in it. Okay, Before, so there are two doors. Uh, you guys go up the stairs you'll see like the rat come up and like get like a military stance look around left right do a roll forward and then like gives the all clear oh shit a rat no <laughs> oh shit all right <laughs> <laughs> um okay i'm gonna look at both of these doors um do they look like they lead to the same area or is it two separate rooms uh, hard to tell. Like you guess, it could be leading to like a similar area. You haven't, Volley. You haven't had a chance to look around the building much, so you don't know the full layout. But like, it could okay. be two separate areas potentially. All right. Um, I'm gonna quickly take a peek into the keyhole and just kind of see if there's somebody in there. Uh, as you peek into the keyhole, you can tell that it does not go all the way through. Interesting. Uh, second door has the same kind of setup. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna try the door handle? Sure. Uh, you could tell that it is locked as you attempt to, to open it. Um, Interesting. I'm going to look at our rat friend. Can you sneak underneath the floor? Or it gives a rat thumbs up and over to the door. <laughs> yeah, if we can get into a room with a bunch of Tyrant's Guild members... Flip the lights off and create some confusion. I, I think we can. I think we can pull it off. <laughs> That's a flip the idea. lights off. Yes, we flip the lights off and then we like shuffle that. in with everyone. <laughs> this this outset electricity that we have. <laughs> May I squeeze um, on the door? The the like the spacing on this door is incredibly small. Uh, it will be incredibly difficult for you to squeeze under it with an acrobatics check. You can make one, but it, Do it you anyway. can I'm tell. A rat. Okay. Uh oh. Rats can go anywhere. Okay. Not with a nineteen. Still not enough. Oof. Squeak. You're like your your butt is way too big. Like both Tanhauser and Volley, you see like the rat gets kind of sick. You aren't even able to like peek your head under it either. Like it's it's got some thickness to this door as well. I'm too thick, Squeak. Sorry. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I could attempt to pick the lock, but that would that would give us away. Well, no one's looking right now. Well, whoever inside would know that we're up to something. We would just look like we have the key. Maybe, though we don't have a key. Well, yeah, but like, we the door room. opens. They're not going to be checking your hands to make sure you have a key. They'll assume that you unlocked it and then opened it. Doors are yeah. locked, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, sure. In that case, I will attempt a thievery to try and quickly pick it. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I have a decent thievery. Let's go. 19? 19 is not enough to pick this lock. Should I hear you find it? yourself like having difficulty getting through. There's a lot of complex systems. You can tell that's probably why you can't see through the keyhole, too. There's probably an advanced lock in it. Given yeah. you rolled a nine, I would say try for it. Yeah. Like... Well, 
uh, it can only get better, right? No. Okay. But last no. words. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a hero point. Hero point. Hero point. point. Please. It's worse. Oh, I saw it on the 20. <laughs> no! I'm like, you can tell you had all the tumblers lined up. And then that dice rolled just a little bit more, and you fucking locked them all out. Ah, damn, this is a tough lock. Let me give it a shot. I also have a pretty um, titanic thievery check, so I will yeah. rock it. Sure. All right, 16 now. That, no. you know, you unless, <laughs> unless that counts as perhaps assisting to give a plus five to volley. Uh, no, that is not how that works. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right, case. Hmm. And the rat can't get underneath the floorboards. Like, yeah. The, the, at this point, like you, you, you've tried. Like, you can see the rat has tried to like sneak under this door, but it is not. Are there any alternative passages, like say air vents or anything like that? Oh my god, he's going to vent. Um, you can give me a perception check. Sure. Heaven or hell, let's rock. Uh, twenty-six. Yeah, you can tell that the the room ahead is fairly well sectioned off. If anything, it's a bit strange that there's some like kind of curves on the walls here and here that might denote um, like some kind of alternative access points, um, or at least like maybe not false walls, but like supporting walls. But you're guessing like access to this room based off what you're seeing from the structure. It's, it's, this this room is fairly like tightly contained and that's probably because it is currently, you know, dangling over the precipice of the sinkhole. So they probably built it pretty form factor, pretty tight. Mm. I see. Uh, This right here, is this a wall? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like it rises, like the they come up. It's not quite an overlook balcony. Um, there's like it's not a full wall either. It probably comes up to just about your chest, and then you could look over and see the the bottom floor. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hail Mary this, and if there's guys on the other side, we're gonna have a fucking problem. Mm -hmm. Or wait, we hold on, speaker. Uh, you want to kick the door in? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to do something a little more reckless and a little less reckless. Oh, uh, well, we might be able to, if we want to slip back into the crowd, we might be able to jump this wall, squeeze into a door before that group comes back, and then just kind of blend in with the rest of the guards. Sounds good. Sorry, one second, Amber Alert. Yeah, uh, I got the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Speaker's being abducted. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. Well, Hello, that. I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I heard there's an Amber Alert. Well, Ooh. yep. All right, so what was your plan there, Volley? Uh, my plan was, because if I recall, the Tyrant's Guild guys were on this side, correct? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, they went through the through a door down there. Through a door down there. Okay, so if I could hop the wall out of their possible line of sight... Uh, mm -hmm. and squeeze into one of... Because there was a door right here, if I recall. Uh, sorry, reping. I had to switch my... Oh, there. right here. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so there was a door right there. We might be able to hop that wall, sneak into that room, and if there are guards in there, we can throw them off our trail. Yeah, and you can look over the, the side even right now, and you can tell that the three guards that were on the main floor aren't there anymore. They've, they've gone and followed their companion to wherever they were going. All right. So that's one option. Speaker, what were you thinking? Oh, um, there's no stairs further up from this level, it seems. Correct. You can tell from, like, looking outside that this is very much the, the top level here. Yeah, so... And these doors are locked to shit. I was gonna teleport on the other side, and if I didn't like what I saw, I was gonna teleport right back. If I didn't, then I was just going to pretend, like, uh, sound the alarm and be like, that there are intruders in the Tyrant's Guild. You are advised, all of you, to take off your helmets so that we might inspect you. And sh shit like that. Mm. Just kind of do so like if there are guards on the other side of this, they will not have heard of anything sus yet, and we will convince them that indeed the others may be the imposters. This is uh, true. Do you guys you want me to try my Hail Mary teleport plan? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's Squeak. see. I mean, if you teleport in there, it's probably going to be a dead giveaway, because I don't think there are many Maguses amongst the Tyrants Guild. There are, are there? enough. We, f we fought guys. They uh, they did all kinds of crazy shit. They have to be necromancers to control their steeds. That is true. So There are, if there are spellcasters. So. Okay. Yeah. So if it's all the same, I think we'll try that. Yeah, we'll and if that. it's magically warded or something and you can't get in that way, then we'll hop over then, the side. And, then yeah. we're about to find out. Yep. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try teleporting on the other side of the store. Okay, so what are you using to do that? A dimensional step. Or dimensional assault. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so typically uh, with, with dimensional assault, you have to like know you're basically jumping next to a creature. That's part of it. But in this case, um, when you're trying to do it, you can tell even before you would reach that phase of needing to like have a creature to end up, there is something actively stymieing teleportation. It doesn't use your dimensional assault here, but there is something like in the walls here that appears to be stymieing your teleportation attempts. Uh, can I right. be able to detect magic? Mm. Give me an arcana check. Sure. Well, we know that this is an important room. This is probably where we'll bring Du Bois whenever we 17. do our big funny infiltration. Uh, yeah, um, there is an incredibly powerful force behind this door. Uh, it's not so much that the walls here are magical, but there is something just like that is like suffusing the entry points here. Whatever ritual they're performing, it's happening behind these doors, or at the very least, its energies are concurring beyond them. Then let's get, uh, let's get Baldrick, blow the door open, and bust in when we've got everyone. Come on, okay. over the edge here. All right, uh, so as you, you all, uh, jump over the edge, we're gonna, we're gonna carry on back to the basement. All right, so, so Baldrick, you have opened the door... Uh, and begun conversing with the, the small child. <laughs> conversing is uh, generous. Yes. You were about to make a skill test, I believe. Uh, I was not about to make a skill test. I oh. was about to push past. Okay. So I can see the two uh, fellows here, right? Yes, and as as you start to uh, to see these two, one thing you notice is that their attention appears to be taken away. And they, like, start walking in the opposite direction. Eventually, you kind of hear their voices through their masks. Uh, and then the voice of another, uh, somewhere, like, across the corner here. Uh, and you can hear the, we uh, have a problem upstairs. I uh, need to see the I need to see the the, the commander. There's supposedly reinforcements here, but I, they very clearly don't don't know our procedures. I left the other three upstairs with them. Uh, Thurston, how loud would you say an alchemist fire is? Uh, I mean, it's mostly like a glass shattering. That that'd be the that'd be the the primary. Then the explosion would probably come a bit above that. Okay, so it, it is reasonably loud. You would say they'd yes. be able to hear it above. Absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, Baldrick is going to hold a hand up, like an open hand, and then clench it shut, trying to signal to Rahua to turn off the light, since we have light now. Rahua will deactivate light. All right, in that case, I'm going to sneak in and get behind. I'm presuming this is a pillar here? Yeah, so there's a pillar. Um, like, you can see there's two support pillars here. Uh, both of them have, like, torch torches on either side. They appear to be magical torches, just sort of extra jutting stones that have been magically enchanted that give off pulsing light. Hmm. Um, yeah, would you like to give me a stealth check, or would you like to assurance it? I need to think. Because it's very bright in here, so I might want to just stealth check. Even though, like, the be the best I'm going to do is, like, ten more or so. But I've got points to roll, so I'll go for it. If I fail, it'll probably try to assurance. We'll see. It's all good. Um, so I have a question, actually. Yes. Um, I have a feat for armored stealth. Yes. So I look at my equipment, and I look at my breastplate. It gives me a minus two check penalty. I don't think it's factoring it in. 
Um, when you raise the raising armor, you is reduced by one. Um, yeah, I've been suffering a minus two because of the armor penalty. Okay, so it should just be minus one. Okay. Can you adjust that for me, since I can't for some reason? Uh, I can check. I can just give you. myself a permanent. Just, bonus. just roll it for now, and we know the the number okay. is fine. That's fine. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I'm gonna roll it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Eh, five. That's terrible. I'm gonna roll that. Reroll that okay. with a hero point. Yeah, hero point. Uh, here we go. Here's the here's the one. Oh no. 14 20, better 20. Okay, so 21 technically. Uh yeah, so you're you're able to sneak ahead. You can tell these these guards are like very much in their conversation. Okay. Slinking past. Yeah, Mark Buldrick down the hero points and you've slunk <laughs> into the room. Uh I'm going to keep the the little entryway kind of shut. I'm just going to like wave for Rahua to like get into position behind it without opening it further if he can. Okay. So I'm just going to continue overhearing. Can I perception that? You don't even have to. You can hear them. Like, there isn't much other sound here. All right, let's get you to the commander. And, like, you can hear the shuffling of footsteps. Guard opens a door into a room. Now it gets, like, a bit muffled once they're in this, this room here. Uh, at the center of the prison area, you can hear some, like... Uh, like low low conversations uh do you want to give me another yeah you can give me a perception check for this part. what is this is this just a stretching rack yeah yeah okay would i be able to crouch behind it uh absolutely if you want to give me another stealth check to like advance up i want to hold off on that for now i'll do a perception and if that fails me i'll get closer oh okay. sneaking snack Solid where is snack. my perception there it is perception check go Nah, there's the one. There, there. Oh no! We oh, finally get the complication. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? We get a complication. Die. <laughs> Would you like to re-roll it? You'll still get I, the complication. I will. Give me the complication, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It will not let me re-roll for some reason. Oh, because it took away. Um, it knocked two hero points off my character. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Try again. There we go. That's a twenty. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll get you up ahead. Uh, I'm gonna find one here. Um... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So you're as you're doing this, this is going to be from Red Fist. This one is called the Slip of the Mind. Um, you accidentally say your thoughts out loud. Uh, that being said, I'm not gonna have it be like, haha, this is how I trick you into like failure. It, in, in, into failure, because uh, the 20 will still succeed, but, like, you say something that gets inserted into their conversation as you are stealthing up aloud. Uh, and it's some sort of thought you have, like, actively as you're, as you're stealthing up further. What, what that, that Baldrick just... mutters to himself is, do those fuckers up there already blow their cover? <laughs> what was that? Huh? Must have been the way. The, the other two, like, in the room are sort of looking around, and, like, Baldrick, I'm assuming you're, like, kind of, like, shifting up to there sort of thing behind this, like, under... No, I'm holding where I am, because... Oh, I you are? Them. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so you're, 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 you're sort of, like, now hearing this, and it's, it's kind of, like, well... Uh, they're intruders. They're, they don't have the key. Only I have the key. We should uh, perhaps uh, go and deal with the situation. And, right, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Tannhauser fell down a bunch of stairs into a garbage. <laughs> Why do you keep falling down the stairs? Are you okay? <laughs> I warned you about stairs, bro. I warned you. <laughs> I w <laughs> no. I, I beat you with a newspaper. Yeah, I tripped so hard, I broke through the floorboards. I land in the scene. And then you, you hear this, like, sir, 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 as, um, and you're able to see it from, like, like peering around the pillar. Three more members of the Tyrant Guild come rushing in. Sir, we have intruders upstairs. There's... They're really badly disguised. Um, they, 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 one of them yelled at, yelled at me really, really 
badly. They they do not know our processes, sir. How many of these do we got? Got four. <laughs> All right. We should go. We'll go deal with hey. this. Hey, Thurston. Yes? Sensing that things are about to go terribly, terribly wrong. Yes. They're all clustered up, right? Oh, God, like you wouldn't believe. I have four of these. Okay. Can I open by throwing from a sneak attack one of my alchemist fires and then proceed to draw and throw the remaining four, three alchemist fires? Uh, you certainly, you certainly can, my friend. Would you like to turn your, put your token into combat here? <laughs> yeah, you got it, dog. Oh no! There is no active encounter. I have to set my guys. There we go. Uh, you should be good now. <laughs> Rua, would you like to put yourself into this shit show? Oh, I've been waiting to. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, here comes the fun part. This could all go horrendously wrong. I have exactly one hero point with which to save myself. Okay, roll a perception for initiative, though, just so we get an order of course, to, of course. to have. Um, Wait, since I'm doing this from stealth, can I do stealth instead? Yeah, abs oh, yeah absolutely. It'll be, it'll be plus one because it's still reporting my armor. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You I'll just add just a circumstance a bonus. bonus. Yeah, absolutely. What could possibly go wrong, everybody? What could possibly I got go wrong? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Oops. <laughs> I'm going I'm to be sorry, throwing in quick succession from one sneak attack, one alchemist fire, and then because I have the rest already prepared and ready, Drawing and throwing three more. Uh, Rahua, would you like to roll your uh, your initiative there, my friend? Oh yeah, you know absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Of course. <laughs> As I throw a bucket of dice. Twenty-two. Yeah, okay, cool. okay, cool. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you know what? What the hey? Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, uh, you want to target uh, target one of these boys and uh, go go to go to town. Go to yeah. We're we're gonna see how badly this goes, but this is my best shot at keeping the attention off them. Uh, absolutely, it is. Okay, let's do it. Uh, all right, here we go. Bum la bomba. We're, I'll begin the encounter and then I'm going to move straight to you. So technically, you're just going to start the encounter at the bottom of the initiative. Here cool. we go. Erahua, you need to save me because I will be out of actions by the time I've run out of bombs. I will do my very best. I trust you. Uh -huh. I don't know why I didn't have my bomb drawn before, but it doesn't matter. So this is going to be the first. I take it this one is free, correct? Uh, yes. I uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just give you this one for free for sure. You you are being very stealthy and tactical here. Absolutely. That's a twenty. Oh Jesus! That is a net twenty a again. Yeah, that we're up to five. Grit. Okay, okay. I'm going to assume for maximum splash, you're actually going to hit this guy because uh, you'll you'll hit more of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. One. So roll me a uh, sweet sweet dumb critical Dimaggio. Oh, he is extremely dead with thirty two damage. Uh, yeah, um, so the hit points on these guys are a bit wrong. I just need to fix that one. So I'm just going to give them 30 extra hit points. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, you know, just, uh, just gonna, you know, do that. Cause you know, I just did <laughs> oh, something to them. Okay. One sec. Okay. Um, this is going to be dangerous and bad. Because I moved them onto the other map, and the other map had them statted a bit differently. Okay, uh, so yeah, you um, absolutely murder this poor person. Um, Just silently, uh, for a brief moment, he like leans out, and it's like the sound of his boots scuffing on the floor, and he rolls his <laughs> arm up and lobs the, the alchemist fire right in the air. It lands on the four poor schmucks' fucking head. Yeah, uh, so this will, like, absolutely murder this one. Uh, and then, oops, uh, it's gonna be, uh, sit here. 
All right, then you're going to, like, apply extra damage to these ones. So yep. that's cool. Oops, not that. Oh, don't forget, uh, I can do calculated splash. Yes. So let's see. That's two times. So that'd be four damage normally. Uh, Yeah, for the splash. No, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. And what's your calculated, dude? Calculated splash. Let me just bring it up again. Sorry. Calculated splash as a feat. Uh... When you throw an alchemical bomb with the splash trait, you can cause the bomb to deal splash damage equal to your intelligence modifier. So, okay, so it does the same amount. It of does four. It does four, which is which is solid, like very solid splash damage. These guys like look hurt. Okay, so that was your free action. So, for the record, he's he's still behind it, but I'm still like aiming around. Yeah, you're you're basically him. using cover here, essentially. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna target this man now, the one in the okay. back. So those two are still affected by splash. Absolutely. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming still strike nine, correct? Um, that was like at, at this point, you're going to have your multiple attack penalty. So, OK, so I'll be taking a map minus five. Yeah. All right. Do it up. Do it up. Toss Use a grenade. Oh that's gosh. a that's a 20 again, but not a yeah. not a net 20. It's just a that hit. will that will that will hit it. It will not crit, but. Damage roll. Eh, could be better. Eight. Okay, uh, so that's actually going to be ten, though, because... Uh, oops, yeah. Uh, that'll be ten because of the um, your your calculated uh, splash. Because so I don't think it's factoring. No, it isn't, so... So we'll just have to keep that in mind. Uh, okay, and then these ones will each take four, so... Uh, yeah, they're looking real fucking beat up. Uh, and your... That was your second, your next action? Uh, let me think about this because if I do this at a map ten, mm -hmm. that'll be my second action. Thank yeah, because technically you got the the freebie bomb I gave you for surprise. Absolutely. I'll. You know what? Uh, I'll throw I'll throw one with a map ten, and if it and if it succeeds or fails, I'll be throwing a smoke bomb at my feet. I could recommend okay. something to you. What? If, if, all right. Your last, you you move for one action. You still stride your fool, and I would probably recommend you to try to get behind Rahua because you will have uh, three tyrants guys. One of them probably a beefier guy coming after you, and Rahua can't save you from it until it's your turn. I will and be putting myself in smoke, forcing them to come into melee. Yeah, so you have to ask yourself: Do you want them in a chokehold position or where you're currently? I would like to keep them around me, ideally. So here, he wants to bomb them more. I want to kill them. I want to destroy them. I will try my best to take out as many before Rahua can get into position and presumably Crunch as well, because Crunch is at the top of the list. It's true. Because he rolled a fucking 20, like a weirdo. He's, he's Crunch. He's mobile. Anyway, I'm going to roll that map 10 now. Okay. That was my last grenade that I'm throwing for now, so that would be three bombs. Okay. Here we go. Ah, four. It's uh, critical. Do you have a hero point? Uh, yeah, I'll 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 do the hero point. Do it. Do it. Just do just it. Because. do it. Do it. It's shit. It's a hit with an eighteen. That'll hit. That'll hit. Roll me damage. Do it. Eh, seven. Uh, seven nine technically. Uh, with four okay. is the splash. Yep. Uh, okay, these guys are looking like utterly terrible from your your cannonade of bombs, and then you're dropping one at your, your smoke smoke stick at your feet, right? Yes, I will be throwing a smoke stick at my feet. Let me reduce my inventory by three. Uh, so you throw these bombs. There's loud like like booming explosions that echo through the room, uh, like a cannonade of fire going up. <laughs> And you hear from, oh, what's that? We're under attack, get them! Uh, and then the, the others, like, start turning, looking around. One of them has been melted in front of them. The others are all on fire. Also, I forgot, the one that you've been throwing bombs on also has persistent fire on him. Um, so so there's just, like, a, like a, a, a sense of madness. Now, have you given any... You haven't really... Like, are you shouting anything as a free action, I should say, Baldrick? Yes. Jigs up! Get him! That's yeah. shouted at Rahua and Crunch. Okay. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, so can I get that uh, smoke around me? Yeah. 
I just haven't put a little token thing there. I have to do that. Okay. Give you. All right, so Crotch comes up with like a shield. Oh, I'm a real bulwark, friend! Clang puts the shield down in front of him. These four should be the smoke, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, okay, cool. I was gonna do that before he moved over there, but that's fine. That's okay. There we go. Ooh, it's a smoky area. I don't know why that comes to the forefront, though. <laughs> it's, it's it's smoke. It's very thick. It's smoke. It's very, very thick smoke. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's because I'm on that layer. All right, cool. Uh, so that's Crunch. Uh, you hear some, some like, rustling of, of, like, equipment. A member of the Tyrant's Guild emerges, though you don't get a good look because of the smoke. Um, but then they'll come up this way with their second action, and Baldric, uh, at this point, you can see that this is a, um, a different type of uh, Tyrant's Guild member. Though you're familiar with what they are, you've not yet seen one. Uh, this one is, like, clutching onto what appears to be, like, a, a long pole with almost like a tri-point claw at the end of it, and his other hand crackles with magical energy. Uh, you recognize this as an excoriaturge. This is one of the, like, combat spellcasters, the Maguses, per se, uh, of the Tyrant's Guild. Oh no, it's evil Tannhauser. Also known as Tannhauser. Yeah. No, I'm being nice! <laughs> Comes out, like, waves this stick towards you. Get them! Get them! Um, at this point, yeah, some of, like, one of them rushes out, uh, draws their weapon and ends there. Uh, one of them, this, this one here, wounded, draws their weapon. Um, tries to enter and make an attack on Crunch. We'll see how this goes. And I will roll concealment after this. Uh, fails terribly. Hit <laughs> crunch like tink. Um, Admittedly, he's probably got a little bit of shell shock right now. Uh, yes, he's running into like a war zone. Uh, Rahua, you're up. So Rahua is going to see how to begin. Barrel in. Be, be mindful. There is a, there is a column here. Don't try to move there. You'll hurt your face. Yeah. Of course, I will do a little bonk. Bonk. Uh, Rahua. Oh, I'm measuring. I'm not moving. That's why. Yes. I'm surprised all three of those hit. I'm going to fuck. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Sometimes you live the dream, my man. I fucking, I fucking turned into Rolento for a minute. Yeah. Good. Uh, I'm going to cast an Arctic Barrage. Okay, on which one? Okay. It's funny, man. Yeah. This funny man here? Sure, absolutely. You kind of, like, peek around the smoke and unleash your chaotic spell. He just comes barreling in. Eye flares with light and a beam of energy is unleashed. Zap him! The roiling chaotic tides! Make an attack roll, please. There we go. <gasps> oh, Ooh. you're gonna miss, though. Are you happy yeah, with that? No, I can hear it. Yeah, yeah, you wanna, you wanna hear point that? Yeah, do it up. Hero quest! Hero! Bro! Oh, no. Wow, okay. No. Um, so you, like, I don't know, manifest some silverware into existence that just, like, impotently flies out and lands at his feet. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, okay. Comes over to our buddy over here, draws his weapon. Uh... You idiots are too far away. I engaged combat at range and then stopped you from being able to range. And then this one's going to try to attack you, Baldrick. Uh, let's see here. He's attacking into smoke. He, needs he to... is. I'm going to roll the attack for... I fail terribly. Critical with miss. Critical miss. Um, oh. All right. Uh, what happens because... This one comes out, this. looks... Oh, I'm going to get reinforcements. <laughs> Bring him. I'll kill them too. Running. Uh, I'm going to go with him. Also, I'm on fire! Um, will he make it away? I don't think he will. He's going to take a lot of damage from that burn. Uh, he is. Uh, he's going to, like... 
Because uh, unlike the acid, which is a lot of persistent, th this doesn't. Alright, let's see if it happens. Does he die to it, or does he? No, he just dies to it. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, so he will take his two points. He rushes and then falls down a charred corpse next to his friend. Um, because the fire is still going. Baldrick, you're up. Hi, I, I began the combat, and now I will end this round. Uh, thinking. This is a finesse weapon. I'm not a high dex person, am I? It's better than my strength. Oh, but I don't get anything because I'm wearing a breastplate. Fuck. Um, what is the damage of the dagger? I need to check this. Dagger? It's probably D4. Compared to the club, which is... Um, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so here's my idea. Because uh, I'm going to use Shadowrun rules, which is Geek the Mage. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, one, two, three. Remember, there's a column in front of you. I know, I'm going there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there. Yeah. And then there. Okay. Since I'm assuming that Rahu and Crunch will be able to maintain those two guys, I can weather a bit of attack, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to swoop out of the smoke. Here's a good news for you. They don't have attack of opportunity. Bam! I kind of figured. I kind of figured they didn't because these would be roughly the same as the others. One, two, three, and that was reducing it by how much? Because of the breastplate. Fuck. Got already. All right. So you you rush Five like penalty. out of the the smoke and then like come between the two of the tyrant skill members who look at you in shock uh, as you like rush around. And fifteen. There we go. Mm-hmm. Hi, right, Baldrick Weathers. I'll be killing you. Please move out of my way. What are you doing? Sample. I toss a, I toss one of the alchemist fires that I've made beforehand in my hand, and then throw it at the mage. Okay. Getting you guys out of the way. Okay, here we go. This is fun. Yeah, that's that'll hit. That's twenty-five. Yeah, give me the damage. That's pretty good. That's a 14. Yeah, he takes that and is also on fire. Ooh, he's got quite a bit of health for a mage. I mean, he's also, you know, a bit higher level, you know. I will make sure he dies regardless. That was your uh, So that was action. a move, draw and throw. You know what? I'm going to stab this man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no, so I can't. I don't, still have, be I don't have my dagger drawn. Oh, yeah. You could throw another bomb if you wanted to. I don't have any other bombs. That was my last oh, one. Shoot. Fair enough. Uh, I will club him. I'm going to bap, bop, bap him. Bap him with the club. Minus five. Uh, now nah, that'll miss it a 15. I don't have anything to be rolling. I'm not going to bother. All right. So you go, you come out, you, you, you start going. Uh, all right. So crunch. Crunch goes. Privately rolled dice. Uh, you hear the sounds of like bone crunching and like the sounds of a body being like absolutely destroyed uh, as the uh, the one abaser that was in there falls down quite dead. Uh, and you see like this shattered helmet chunks fall out from just the edge of the smoke cloud, uh, Baldrick. Good enough. I got one. Good. Get the others if you don't mind. He's a strength vigor build. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a move. Uh, Rahua, you hear like the clanging of uh, of, of of like onto the stone for a moment, and he just misses the abaser. All right. Um. The Excoriaturge commander goes, and seeing you, Baldric. Hmm. Baldric thumps his fucking breastplate. Come on, stand right here. Ain't you want to kill Baldric Weathers? Oh, you are Baldric Weathers. I shall destroy you. Um, <laughs> it turns into a Mass Effect. I will yes. destroy you. Destroy you. Um. Okay, uh, he is going to cast a spell. He is going to cast Acid Arrow. Oops, I'm still on private menu. Uh, uh, 
Good. And he casts Acid Arrow at you, Baldrick. Uh, you fool, I don't believe in magic! Owned! You don't believe in acid. Patow. Uh, we'll hit you, um, and we'll do... Numbers. Numbers. Uh, 11 points of acid damage to you. And okay. then you also now have persistent acid damage as this arrow smacks into you, um, cause, causing your like your cloak to sizzle around the alchemicals. Though, of course, it doesn't actually hit your alchemical uh, equipment because that would be silly. Um, and then he attempts to... Uh, let's see here. Attempts to demoralize you with his last action. Now, what's your will DC? 10 plus your will save modifier. 10 plus 17. my will save modifier? Hang on. 17. Uh, that would be 17. Okay, so you are going to be uh, slightly shaken by him. So you will be... Uh... Yeah. Fair enough. He is, he is going to uh, to make you just a little bit uh, frightened, I should say. Because he... Kai, as, as he like shuts, I will destroy you now with my powerful magic. Okay, there we go. Uh, cool. Uh, that's his go. Uh, then he takes uh, he takes his fire damage, which uh, continues to burn at him. Uh, then the one beside you goes, Baldric. Uh, having drawn his weapon, he attempts to attack you with a longsword. He. <laughs> It's an 11. He fails. He fails terribly. Uh, right. He attempts to attack you a second time. Uh, missing. And then will use his action to kind of fall back beside beside his, his boss. Uh, dead, dead Rahua. Uh, Rahua's going to try and recoup his loss for that last fuck up. And mm -hmm. just, just going to beat this guy to death. Absolute, just like okay, magic's not my thing. <laughs> magic's not my thing for right now. Let's just manually override this. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, stupid ugly <laughs> man. Goodbye. I am overriding reality. Perish. I got a three. That's not what's supposed to happen. Would you like to use a hero point? Uh, no, I would like to save because I've only got one left, and I feel like what's ahead is probably something I should save my hero point for. Let's do. When you, f I want to say, Thurston. By the way, when you find an appropriate time to like pause in this combat, please by all means go back up to them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I wanted to give you give like a couple seconds so he can at least have some catch up. We, on we've stairs. made great headway so far. Oh yeah. There you uh, go. That will critically crit. hit with a pick. Or no, that you're using the mace, so it'll awesome. still critically hit. Please roll Dimaggio. Ten. Uh, ten. Okay. Uh, he is quite looking beat up. Uh, would you like to do your second action to hit him again, Hulky? I would love to. Yeah. Map 10. No, minus 5. He, oh, I don't know. He was minus 4. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's agile. Boop, boop. Oh! <laughs> there you go. That'll hit. Give me damage. This will probably go. just kill him, though. Yes. Poor damage. He is quite the dead. He yeah. smashes his head in. Yeah, he like falls up against the the bars, slides down, slight like watery sound. One down. Actually, more like four, but I do agree with you. I only killed one. <laughs> I only killed two. What's your last action? Action? As a group What's effort, your last Rahula? action, Rahula? Last action, I am going to try move past the corpse, and we're gonna up. Uh, if my friend, if I could, yeah. am I allowed? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so you move up there. Uh, dead corpse. Uh, this guy continues like retreating, uh, and is out of this area. Baldric, my friend, my companion. What are you up to? Ah, uh, let me think. So I've got, I think, still about. I have four 
four infused reagents left, right? I believe so, yes. Because I used three to make six smoke sticks. And then, no, I would have I would have uh, five. Okay. They didn't use it on anything else. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to quick alchemy and prepare another alchemist fire moderate. Yep. Uh, let me just toggle free free crafting so I don't actually blow gold on a free thing. Woo woo. Craft one. All trick receives one, and I will draw and draw 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 and throw at this guy, okay. which is a one action. So that's two actions. I have one. Uh, you gave me one. Let me fucker. <clears throat> okay, whatever. It's it was giving me like double items. It's fine. Throw, throw at that man. The one in front of you. Yeah. I've got him targeted. Ugh, Thirteen. Do I have a no? You do not have a hero point, but you will do splash damage to both of them. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. And poof, poof. That's still, that's still four. Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty reasonable. It's for on a word. miss? Yeah. Uh, that was your first action. What's your next action? Uh, no, that was my second action because oh, that's the, right, the first one was to prep. Yeah. quick alchemy. I'm going to move, if it will let me. Hi. Can I go? Can I move? Yes. There we go. One, two, three. I'm going to be in here. Yeah, uh, so you, you kind of, like, turn the corner in the prison and come into this, what is very clearly an opulent bedchamber uh, that is completely out of place here. Uh, there are some notes on a table. There's a, like, fine, like, fine glass. There's a, a sofa chair, like, a lovely bed, a large, like, bookshelf slash dresser. Someone lives here that looks very opulent and out of place with the horrific, horrific scene of, like, bloodstained torture implements you saw in the previous room. Uh, he's gonna... This is just, like, a free thing. He's gonna, like, lean out the, the door frame and, like, shout at the at the mage. Real nice room! Martin, I'd buy it for you. That is the Martin, it's chambers! Don't, don't you dare! D d ah! Oh, this um, is hers, then. Uh, free action to spit. Good. Um, all right, so we cut back upstairs. Uh, we cut to to Oren and Tannhauser and Volley. Uh, at this point, I know you said you wanted to to jump. Were you actually going to jump or just walk down? Because those those fellows have just sort of walked away. Oh, those fellows are just gone. They just yeah, they just they just left. They Volley's headed... still gonna jump because she's extra. She's gonna land and be like, "All right, stay. Where the fuck did they go?" I want to point out. I want to point out that on the the Rock Grind TV tropes page, um, under combat parkour is listed. Volley uses them as part of her panache features, though it's also parody. As she tends to do backflips just to keep the bonuses up at during inopportune moments. I love exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna jump over like, ha ha! All right, we're gonna sneak out and. They're gone. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> It seems uh, as damn if it, nobody saw me. I saw you and I was very impressed. Thank you, Tanner. Horn claps. Uh, his little rat hands. Uh, he, I, I assume it's been a while. Oh. Past him, so he's Orin now. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, shit. Uh, do we hear like shit going down? Like as you 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 get down there, like yeah, there's there is like a pause. Like at this point, like. Or and I think yeah you've 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 you'll have exited pest form right because how long does that last yeah. for? Okay, so yeah, like Orin turns back, uh, Tanhauser, do you jump down or do you walk? Tanhauser. Tanhauser will walk. Okay. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I completely I was listening to you and then you said the word Tanhauser and it's like uh. that's the moment when I fucking spaced out. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So, so as as that happens, uh, and you do like as volleys, like huh, I wonder, and then you just hear boom, boom, boom of explosions, though muffled uh, underneath you. That sounds like our friends. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick look around. Does it seem like any other Tyrant Guild people are like coming out to respond? 
No. No? Intriguing. So either it, they're all downstairs or they don't hear us. It seems that our friends in the sewer have caused enough destruction to give us cover. Do we go and greet with them? Or shall we handle the doors upstairs? Hmm. They got Crunch with them, and it's... Let's see. Baldric, Rahua, and him. They probably have it handled. Did they hear the explosions at any point? Oh, that's... I, they just did. They just did. Okay, I, I was... <laughs> that I'm, one sounds like, like Baldric's having a good time. Yeah. Explosion. I'm gonna look down at Little Rat Orin. Orin. Orin's changed back. Oh, no, no, <laughs> he looks like I, a fuck, rat it's Orin. funnier. I'm still a rat. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Make up your mind. I'm okay. still a rat I, now. I, I grab I Rat Orin, hold. Looks like fuck, the. Uh, what are the rules anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I grab, grab Orin. Orin, go downstairs and meet with the others. Give them support if they're in a hairy situation. We shall remain up here and take advantage of the silence. We're going to find the guard captain, and then we are going to try to break through the upstairs doors. You hear a squeak, and then the rat will give a little salute, like, squeak, and then you'll just... Awesome. Okay. I throw him. <laughs> Whoa, or in me upon ye. Okay, so this is good. This one does last ten minutes. I was That's why I was checking. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be normal Orin on my way there. Just for fun. <laughs> oh, okay. So where are you going? It will it will last out because we took a while. Yeah, where are you going? My rage. Uh, I'm heading down the Baldric in them, I suppose, which is not through this doorway. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> I was I, there was a reason I was asking where you were going. <laughs> I assume you're asking me to go through the fucking toilets, aren't? <laughs> What? No! I mean, <laughs> literally, you saw all the Tyrant's Guild guys run this way. Is that at Thursday? Okay. Is that at high? You want him to be a dirty little toilet man? Yeah, Jesus! Dirty little, little toilet rat little boy? Little piss druid, yeah. little poo-poo druid. Hey, uh, you know what? You know what? Just for that. This just is... for that. Just for that, Zorin. Oh, you no. stay right there. Yeah, sorry. No one saw it. Sick goes from remember that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so as you as you rush uh, over to this area, by the way, as you're you're heading this way, Volley and Tannhauser, what are you two doing? All right. Okay. I figure first things first. We should see if they have any documents left over in their like the area where their commander is, quote unquote. Uh, because if they all left to go deal with that disturbance, it's most likely that is poorly or not at all defended. This is true. Uh, okay. and then. Let's see, these doors uh, lead to the uh, ballroom, I'm assuming? Yep. Yeah, because we've seen the map before, and we haven't seen where this door goes, correct? Correct. Uh, we also haven't seen where this door goes. Correct. All right. Um, well, we should probably just try them and kind of see if we've got more dudes coming. Essentially. I'm going to start opening this door. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, stairways leading down. And as, yeah, and like as you you open it, you start hearing footsteps coming up as you walk away, Tannhauser. I'm going to walk up to it. What seems to be the problem? He turns around, looks at you. <gasps> you with you with you with the bomber, aren't you? Aren't you? How could he possibly tell? Huh? Uh, well, because he he was part of the group that was very much of the, like, you're obviously not here, and now has been freaked out and run away from being bombed to near death, so he's just assuming this is some attack on the on the, the installation, right? Okay. Might be time for a stealth kill. Uh, he's, or, he's, or very, it... he's very on edge, having just been bombed. <laughs> as, as a suggestion, before just straight up attacking him, you could say to him, No! Lead us to him. We'll take him out with you. The war yeah. chief. That is true. Yeah, we might get roped into this. All right, I say we we take advantage of this, and I'll yeah, fair enough. And I'll say, you're delirious. We're reinforcements. Bring us to the bomber, and we'll give him the justice of the guild. Uh, 
Uh, um, that seems that seems like fair, fairly uh, reasonable delivery. Um, what do you got here? That'd be good. You can give me a society check for that. Sure thing. Uh, All yeah, right. yeah, 27. yeah. Twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, uh, right. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Come on. And he like leads the way back down. All right. Well, it looks like they need us. Uh, is Rat Orin following? Yeah. Or, uh, Okay. Don't tell to go down. Sit down. I'm just following him. Okay. 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 Um, duty calls. I found like a nail and a, you know, and a little piece of wood as a shield. Ready to fight. <laughs> the the cutest little boy. Oh. Um, I love Despero. Despero. Go. <laughs> okay. It ends okay. in crush. Okay. All right. Um, welcome back to the basement. Um, if I, I could, get our, new, if I could get our new contenders to roll initiative, please. Yay. A clown will not bite me or throw me in the basement. Thank God my creative initiative. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I roll a two. Oh, uh, I cannot roll initiative. Do I have a token in the scene yet? Or in status sure, effects yeah. wounded. Uh, it is not showing up for me. Uh, weird. Uh, try refreshing. You should have it. All right. Mm, I don't uh, see Molly with a with a number either. That's weird. I definitely she have her. Yeah. Again. Uh, here I'll roll it. I just yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. I well, got you. And the one I oh, rolled. Okay. Better. All right. Okay. Take that uh, one then. Yeah, it's right. Okay. Uh. All right, uh, you, let me you, refresh. You, you hear Crunch like muddling about in this. I just need to get my, my bearings and get out of here. And he like comes up over here, uh, coming out of the fog in Baldrick. You just see the side of this, and his hammer like comes up in this wide arc from behind his tower shield. Um, yeah, and this, this, this poor man is just completely, like, leveled into the ground by the hammer. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Um, then the excoriaturge goes, and seeing the, like, reinforcements, uh, begins to move away over to here, and casts a spell on himself. You could see, like, tendrils of magic whipping around his arm as it seems to, like, reinforce his body. Um, all right. And then he takes some fire damage. And then Tannhauser, uh, you have now come downstairs. You're kind of, like, catching up on the situation here. The the baser is, like, turned and, like, ah, the, 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 that way, through there. All right, I'm going to walk up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I can't double move and get there, uh, most likely. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, the baser's in a weak spot. Let me, I'm just moving forward to get a look at the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm willing to imagine that they actually, given that there's only one other active combatant, uh, I'm just going to fucking clobber this guy. He's like, all right, go get them. And then you just start, just start like beating the shit out of this guy. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you know, let's get a spell attack going. Yeah, sure. Uh, 19. That'll hit. Alrighty then. Uh, we'll roll the damage on the weapon. Oh, 2d6. That was unexpected. He's uh, striking. Indeed. Uh, all right. So that is six damage base. Six damage based. And oh, I'm also going to hit with a, let's use a spell slot. Let's use a shocking grasp. Sure. Roll that Dimaggio for it. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So that is 26 damage in total. Okay. He is like almost near death. Um, as the electricity courses through him and he kind of like comes down to his knees, like letting out a shout. And that's the turn. Cool. All right. Uh, Rahua, my friend, my companion, what are you up to? Uh, Rahua is to make a beat for 
fucking score you. Permit. Onto the corpse. Yeah, it's just, just fucking... Punts the corpse. And right up behind him, and I'm gonna attack! Yeah! And so I'm you come the... up behind the, 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 the excoriate church who turns and is like, No! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, that will definitely hit. Give me sweet damage. Here you go. Ooh, poopy damage. Mm. Okay, uh, it takes three points. That's it. All right. Um, what's that? Baldric, my friend, my my companion. What are you up to? Well, put it simply, Thurstone. Yes. I am going to move up. Yep. One. I'm gonna conjure another alchemist fire. Absolutely. I'm gonna throw it at him. Do it up. Why does it keep undoing my fucking alchemist fire? This is very bewildering. It's because it's an expendable thing. It's not a permanent thing, so you have to keep drawing it once you. Well, no. Like the problem is, it's making multiple versions of it in my inventory that I have to remove. Yeah. I've got like four of we them. You could right take now. a peek after. Doesn't matter. I'm throwing it. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Eh. Four. That will not, uh, but it will still do four to him. Good enough. Yeah. As they like, the, he's basically backing off, and you could tell he's retreating. So, like, as you throw the bomb, it just hits his feet. The flames lick at his cloak a bit. Uh, he turns back. Like, you don't get emotion from him, but it's very clear that he is uh, trying to get out of dodge, so to speak. Um, oh, and then uh, you will also take six points of acid damage, and then you can click on the recovery check. Okay. Nope, not yet. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Um, and he is rushing away. Uh, this one, like, turns to you, uh, Tannhauser, draws his weapon with one action, and then goes to attack you. Brave. Foolish. He will hit you. Um, uh, not so foolish after all, perhaps. Yeah, you know. Just brave. Hits you for seven points. Uh, and then moves uh, like rushing into the room. All right, and now he takes the persistent damage. Uh, from the shocking grasp. Yes. Uh, one sec, let me grab that. There we go. Uh, yeah, and then he will take it once his turn is over. It should roll it. Ta da! Okay, so he is still that, and he will take three electric damage as the, the like, electricity arcs over his armor as he continues running. Uh, Oren, the rat, what are you doing? I mean, as soon as it's out at this point, and Oren basically goes like, I got it, and then hops to the top of the table and produce flames at the guy. Uh, okay. Who Tannhauser basically kind of foosed at. So produce yeah. flame, whoosh, a ball of whoosh. flame kind of flies out and misses horribly, which Oren's going to use a hero point. Do in it. which to re-roll that, and that is going to be a 19 that hits. That will hit. Roll me damage. Yeah, I want to bring down oh, the yeah. hero point down on our little thing here, and then boom! Fire damage swats over him for a total amount of 10 points of damage. And that brings him quite into death. And that is the end of Orn's turn. Vali, you are up. Oh, shit. Um, well, it looks like that guy's been toasted and roasted, so I'm gonna... Uh, oh wait, I don't have panache. Why is that box checked? Unless I do have panache. You you uh, did a, you did a funny jump, remember? You did a funny jump earlier. I did a funny jump, but uh, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> you take it, take it. All right, I'll I'm taking it. it. Uh, all right, that's ten feet. Seeing what's going on here. Uh. Well, so I will have to do two, actions, two moves. Yeah. yeah, I will have to do two moves, but just barely. Easy. Oh no. Oh crap. I'm gonna flank this mage, run up to him and say like, reinforcements are here, and then I'm gonna stab him. What? And he like turns, uh, he's quite flat-footed. All right. All right, I'm going to uh, smack him. Finisher him? Yes. <gasps> no! No! Oh, I'm gonna hero point. Hero point. 
point. Arrowist. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. We're at seven <laughs> natural this is, this is going to be like <laughs> beef stroganoff, I'm sure. All right, let's see. Let's yeah. see. I actually haven't seen a crit with the plus one, so. Yeah, well, just let's. Dice, dice everywhere. Yeah, 33 yeah. damage. 33 damage. <laughs> He's alive! He's alive! He lives! <laughs> He stares at you. Oh, who oh, was supposed to help me? You are the chosen one. <laughs> He's gonna die from persistent fire anyway. Oh, oh, Ta-da! Oh, 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 things. Are, oh, oh my! Everything's so. Oh, 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 and crunchy. We never really were on your side. Uh, he's gonna go. Really? All right. All right. Fine. I see how this is. Crunch like comes up to the wall, takes like a breathing rest. Like, oh, that's a sort of killing. Um, and then this fellow here goes and targets you, Volley. <laughs> Casts a spell. Oh no! What's the spell? He's casting vampiric touch. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So um. If you want to give me, uh, let's see, if, it's, if I click this, it should work and make you take the save. Uh, actually, do I have to, like, drag it on you? I forget. Do, do I have to click the button? You might, yeah, you click click the save oh, button. Oh, I right? click the button. You, okay. Yeah, I yeah, you the click button. the save button. I'm right? clicking the button. Click the button. Fuck. No. No, that's a lot, that, that's a you, lot of damage you, he's going to do to you. Are you oh. okay with that? Fine, I will spend more hero points. E, 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 e. Uh, oh, it's not letting me. I'm about to say, you might want to do that because that does 66 negative damage. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm going to reroll that. Uh, it's not mm-hmm. letting me reroll it on this little message so, here. So I'm just do you need, you need to give yourself, you yeah. need to give yourself the hero points, points on your character. Points on the top. Oh. The interface yeah. doesn't interact with that. So oh, if I, yeah. If you ever messes with it, just redo the thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's not giving me the option to re-roll the saving yeah, that's throw. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, because oh, you need to have hero oh. points on your character sheet. So. Oh yeah, I put it on there, and it's, oh, it's okay. still not a Weird. still not happening. Uh, then just just do a save again. Just re- yeah. Re-roll. So it's a fortitude. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can click the button again. Yeah. That's worse. <laughs> that's worse with a net one. <laughs> you Uh-oh. were the chosen one. <laughs> Gonna, I'm, uh, all right, goodbye, everyone. No, Bali, so Bali is about roll. to be drinked with a silly straw. Damage here. One sec. One sec. Um, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna double that. He's giving you the graveyard suck. So he takes 38 points. Um, well, that doesn't kill me. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um,. I gain temporary hit points equal to half the negative damage you take. Yeah, great. So you get 19 more hit points. Fuck you. I do get 19 more hit points. That's cool. <laughs> I, get <them. laughs> I get them. Me. Uh, and then let's look at the complication chart. Um, gosh, what do we have here? Do we have a save anywhere? Ooh. That one doesn't work here. Uh, Roshi's no good. Very bad day. But if Volley gets into combat in one instance, skewers him for a lot of damage. Like, yep. a ton of damage. He's just like, you, give me. He turns into that image of, like, the hand reaching forward, but it's like, give me your health. <laughs> okay, we're going to use this one from uh, Mechanicus and Nap. Give me your poop. Um, no. I like this one. Uh-oh. Uh, this one is called Death Looms. Oh, so good. Uh, the PC vividly recalls the end. They are one of their friends previously met, causing them to become stunned until they successfully uh, make a wisdom save to shake off the effect. So you will Oh, gain, no. Uh, that's not the, funny. The stunned uh, condition, which... That, that that's not a just... funny pants ripped. I'm traumatized. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that just that just reduces your number of actions you'll be able to take next round by one. Uh, and would you like to describe what like horrific scene Volley is, is is like feeling? I mean, as your life force is literally being sucked out of your body by the like the hand of this Tyrant's Guild member. Yeah, yeah. Volley like uh, I guess in that moment she just like as he's grabbing onto her, she just like 
feels the, sees the chain glaive instead of a hand, and she's just like, what the fuck? Yes. Um, yeah, and he, uh, like, has has a big wide smile on his all face. Uh, then he, uh, takes some fire damage. That's cool. Uh, he he action. Again. Actually, you know what? He did have another action, so I'll do the damage on him first, but then I am going to have him also attack you, Volley, because he is such a nice person. And then he's going to cast Vampiric Grasp again! Yeah, no, he can't do it twice, but I can hit you, Volley. Um, and the funny part is, is Vampiric Touch is not an attack spell, because he doesn't roll an attack attack, so <laughs> he's That's just right. going to hit you. Hits you with a rake. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that will hit. It won't crit you, but it will hit It won't hit you. crit. So, uh, no nimble dodge here. No nimble dodge. Uh, and then I will roll the damage. Uh, for 10 oh. more points, which I... Oh, still keeps you up. Though. I'm up, baby. <laughs> Ow. There we go. Good. Good. That's that's his go. Uh, Tannhauser. You, you catch Molly. Do this amazing blow. And then, like, just because around the, the corner of the pillar, you probably see her stagger back. Um, like, you don't quite see the attacker super well from where you are. But you well, see I your friend is in danger. I got line of sight. I can see him. Well, you, there, there's technically a pillar in the way. Like I'm saying, like you can't get a good beat on him from behind. Volley. Like, you can see him. Yes, I'm just describing the scene. Oh, uh, okay, okay. In my case. Now can I see him? Oh yeah, like like again, he's gonna have cover because there's a pillar and a person. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, I don't got that much that let me get to him, which is unfortunate. Uh. I guess what I could do is. Well, he just got back 19, so he needs big hits right now. I can't get quite in position to do any big hits. Um, so I could spend my turn repositioning, but he probably has more Vampiric Touch backed up, which means that we actually need to dump on him right now. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to be spicy. And... Oh, man. It's, it's a rough one, because we're scared he might drink again. I Well, the thing nom, is, is nom, that nom, there's nom. no way, because of this pillar, which I, I thought was just a table, um, there's actually no way for me to draw a line of sight to him uh, without him getting cover, which worries me. But uh, regardless, I'm not going to worry about it this whole time, and I'm just going to Hail Mary, and I'm going to cast Hydraulic Push. Ooh, uh, uh, 14, I will use my hero point. To hero roll. point. All right, much better. I'll that'll take hit, yeah. Absolutely, that'll hit. Awesome. Go, go, gadget, water hose. And, go, go, gadget, water. Uh, I will do 11 damage to him. Push him and, back to there. Yeah. So he's like pushed back by all of this water. He tries to like stand ground, but gets pushed back between the between the cell and Rahua. And that's my turn. Okay, uh, that brings us to Rahua. Rahua is gonna do it big and make it nasty. Oh, that's a Zedic thing. That that's just a Hulky Grow thing. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna fucking hit. Let's go. Let's just break say, his let's bones off. Break, break his bones now. A 21 to hit. It will hit him. Roll me damage. Damage. Minimum damage again. It's okay. 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 Uh, Are I'm you going gonna... to attack or cast a spell? That's a great question. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, man. I I kind of want to keep this secret. Are you... I have a great spell that I can cast, but I want to keep it mysterious. Would you mind if I... uh? Is there any way to like keep that private? Um, is it the one at the bottom of your spell list? It is. Okay, one sec. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, sure, sure. Um, cool. 
Uh, sure, I'll let you do that. Uh, do you want to roll me uh, the 3d8? I would love to. Hulky's being mysterious. Stealth. I'm so confused. Hulky. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Then, with him. Ooh, this. Uh, is that enough? I don't know if that's enough. One sec. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be... Uh, no, that's enough to succeed, but honestly, it's still enough to murder, so... That's cool. Um, describe how this, uh, this, 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 this person falls to the ground quite dead, Hulky. So, Rahua will take a power stance at this abaser who has just death-sucked Volley and raise his chest out, crooning down at this poor, poor soul that doesn't know it yet. Extend his hand, an open palm, raise it up, close his fist, and bring him down. Yeah, and, like, you can, you all hear audible snapping as this is occurring, and he, like, falls down, like, his arm seizing up as he looks at them, dropping the strange stick weapon he has, uh, which he just previously used to, like, rake across Volley's body. His hands start twitching, convulsing, and then he falls down, you hear even more, like, crack, crack, crack. Uh, and then, um, then the fire, like, begins to consume him, and as he falls down, uh, off of his neck falls, shortly, a short distance away from his body is, uh, and on a necklace that is shattered off is a small metal key. Um, and Volley, as you kind of see it uh, in your, like, stunned momentary haze, you can see it looks exactly like the strange keyhole to the second level chambers you had not previously entered. And that, my friends, is where we're going to call it for tonight. Yay! Hooray! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we is in the corner it. still. <laughs> yeah, look, oh, Amogus is here. Yay. The moment. Thank Ready you all so much for, for watching today's episode of Rock Rhyme. We hope you had a fantastic time with us today. I want to still reintroduce the amazing people who bring you Rock Rhyme, starting out with Odoroshi. Hi, hello, it's me, Odoroshi. I played Vali, the sylph swashbuckler who got hit by the big suck. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Odoroshi Writer. Um, and I love you all, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. Next up, Hokey Crow. Hello, that is me. I am Hulky Crow. You can find me on Twitter at Hulky Crow. You can find me on the Narrative Declaration Discord server. I'm the community manager there. We do some fun things there. You should come by if you aren't a member of the server already and hop right in. I'd love to talk with you. Yeah, exclamation point Discord in chat if you need to see it. Next up, we have Aaron Deal. Aaron Deal? Aaron Deal? Nicole? Boom! It's me back. Hello. Yes, I've been Erndil, and you can meet me at Twitter at Erndilio. I've been here. I was I was stealth. I attacked you. That was me coming out of stealth and throwing bombs at Zoran the Bear. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have had fun with Rock Grind today. It's been me with Baldrick. Baldrick, explosive man. Next up, we have Speaker D. Hello, I'm Speaker D. You can find me at Twitter at Super Snake Kick, and you can find various projects in which I've written on on Alpha Busa's YouTube channel as well as his Patreon with updates every other week. And let me tell you, I hope you have a lovely weekend. <laughs> Next up, we have Thurston Hillman, who's been making us suffer today. Hey. Yes, um, if you want to know what's behind the door on the second level, come back uh, next week. I'm sure some of you have guessed. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Nothing bad will happen. Everything bad will happen. All right. Uh, I Yeah, I'm on call. GM Thurston Hillman. Uh, I write for Starfinder and Pathfinder over at Paizo. Uh, you can find me at all the things at on call GM, and I love all your faces. That's all. And I have been your host, Soren the Bear. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. You can always find out what we're all about at narrativedeclaration.com and support us over at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. We hope you all enjoyed the time here, and we hope to all see you next time. So long. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.